This is my Hava. You're in the way. I am Officer Morpho, Corpsec Junior Cadet, in training. And you are under arrest, Mr. Hayes. In training? You can't arrest me. My training is complete. I begin my first shift tomorrow morning. Great. I look forward to being arrested then. I aim to have an exemplary first day as a Corpsec officer. I must impress upon my superiors the seriousness with which I approach my duties, and solemnity and respect in which I hold the ancient and venerable Corpsec Civil Enforcement Agency. As such, I aim to make an impressive and prestigious arrest as soon as my shift begins. Good for you, Corpbot. You got any smokes? Morpho. And I do not imbibe tobacco, alcohol, or illegal drugs. We're not gonna have much in common, Morpho. We might not be best friends after all. Citizen, I am escalating my tone to level 3 aggression. You will not be allowed to evade me, as I plan to arrest you at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Come on, get in the hover then. Excuse me? You can come with me. That keep you happy? Why, yes, that would be acceptable. But I do not understand. Let's go for a drink, Corbot. I need to make a call, and it's not going to be pretty. Even though I have no desire to socialize with you, and I do have some discretionary funds to aid in the investigation of high-profile criminals. <laughs> that. Hey, Jank. Give me a nav point for the nearest, cheapest, best booze. My new friend Morpho wants to treat us. Your automata appears to be faulty. Hey, me and Jank been through a lot, okay? He's just a little flaky. Generating nav point for all that exists when the tree falls in the empty library. Enjoy your giraffe. See, he gave us the nav point. And he mostly makes sense. So it was more full, right? What's your deal? Why'd you want to join the SEC? Who put you on to me? You like it in Novalis? How much money you got? Yes, I am Morpho. I have no deal. I have dreamed of being a Corpsec agent since my programming was reset. I must protect the anonymity of my sources. I am here to serve the corporate citizens' safety and freedoms within the city. It does not matter whether I like Novalis or not. I have 1,077 credits. That's a decent stack of limbs, but how do you know they're real? I'll need to check them. I assure you, they are legal tender. I'm a certified credit inspector. I have to evaluate their authenticity. Now. I did not realize you were a credit inspector. Very well. I trust these are all in order. I can't believe that worked. Excuse me? Oh, just as I thought. I've seen plenty of counterfeit limbs in my time, and these are some of the worst. How can that be? I just got them from... Listen up, Morpho. If you spend these, you might get kicked out of Corpsec before you start. If that's what you want. No. Then don't worry. I'll make sure no one knows you had them. Thank you. That is a relief. No problem. But now you owe me, okay? That only seems fair. Was your Corpsec training rigorous, Morpho? Yes. Corpsec only recruits the best and brightest.
Here's what we have in stock. Thanks, bud. Come again. Are you going to drink the... Is there a law against that, Murf? Cadet Morpho. And... <laughs> Why do you care? It is impossible to arrest someone who... Well, then, it's great that you're here to make sure I don't do that. A corpse. A narc. A stooge. A tra... But don't worry. One night with me, and you'll never be the same. If I am a fun vacuum... I'm the straw that stirs the drink. To whom? Hey, it's me, Hayes. I want my old job back. I want to come back to clock. I wonder what she dreams about. You told her she could come with you. If she could stay awake. But you knew she would get sleepy. Ooh. I did, Camus. It was a long day. But a good one. Even if we didn't go to the park. There just aren't that many parks in Novalis, Camus. Not in Midtown, anyway. I understand. I am excited to get back to work. Sorry, Camus. It's just me tonight. I kind of want some time alone. Is that okay? Yes. You'll be fine. I'll be back before you know it. Yes. See you later, Camus. Did you call? You know I didn't. What if I came along? You have worked for Cloudpunk for two months, and I am never allowed to come. I was a good helper on the first night. You were, Camus. I will be quiet, and then it will be like you are alone. I will be extra quiet. I know I am annoying sometimes. You're not annoying, Camus. You really want to come? More than anything else in the world. How can I say no to that? Come on then, let's go. My second night. I wonder if it will be like the first. Let's find out. Let's hope this old Hava will make it through another night. We should try to hit less than 127 people tonight. <sighs> I am so tired. Is it acceptable to start work with a coffee break? Hey, wait, I didn't hit that many people. This is true. I stopped counting. Ha, ha. Let's just try to get through tonight without killing anyone else or each other. Do you think about what happened on your first night with Control and Cora? Yes, I'm really trying not to, though. Okay. I am excited to start a new shift. I hope we almost die less often. Same. Chemist, toggle our Cloudpunk service status tag to available. What? I can't. I... Damn it. Right, you're not my automata anymore. I am a dog. Activate generic automata. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Right, I forgot about you. Just log in to the automated Cloudpunk job allocation server. I'm clocking in for the night. Delivery available at Cloudpunk HQ. Would you like to activate my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium mode? You ask every night. I told you, no, I don't want to start the night in the red. Premium mode is now available, free of charge, courtesy of Cloudpunk. Wait, really? Then yeah, go ahead, unlock or whatever. Premium mode unlocked. It is a pleasure to serve you, ma'am. Ma'am, about time. Although... Ma'am? I know, Camus, I know. Generic automata, just call me Rania, please. Yes, Rania. So, what should I call you? Are you listening, Generic Automata? I need a better name for you. You may choose any name you desire. Any suggestions, Camus? Oh, choosing a name sounds fun. There are so many options. Susan, Renata, Rathmussen, Frangible, 
Alexandria Titania Elizabeth Swanson. Generic automata. So, Jen. Your name is Jen. Aww. Very well, Rania. Please enjoy your premium automata features. What are they? You know what? It can wait for now. Let's focus on this first delivery. I want to get off to a good start tonight. So where is this package going? We don't have an aft point. Jen, why isn't the Cloudpunk job allocation server telling us where to go? The job allocation server is offline. We would normally have a call from Control by now. Old Control. We don't have a controller now, Chemist. We just take whatever job the algorithm gives us. No chat, no special jobs. That is boring. I remember a lady control at the end of your first shift. She dumped us after one night, Camus. We're stuck with the algorithm now. Is that better? You might think so, but no. Drivers who don't have an allocated controller get all the shitty jobs. If things don't pick up soon, we won't make rent this month. Hey, driver 14FC, you read me? Or uh, you prefer Rania, right? Who is that? We're in luck, Rania. The job allocation server's down for maintenance, and I snap you up. I'm your new controller. I think we're gonna make a great team. Oh, uh, me too. Nice to meet you. So, where am I going, Control? The Marrow. Setting a nav point now. On my way. I was just saying how I didn't have a controller. Well, you have one now. And I have to ask you some questions, Rania. That okay? What kind? There have been some issues with our driver database. We seem to have lost all your records. That's why you were ranked so low and didn't have a controller. I looked into it, though, and you have a high commendation rating, and your delivery stats are good. How are my customer reviews? Exemplary. You're fast, Rania. Your scores are high, but they could be higher. Right. After my first night, I try not to go too fast. Take fewer risks. It's not just you that gets rated. Controller has a rating at the end of the night, too. My rating's based on how well my drivers do, so this is no time for slacking. No time for playing it safe. How many controllers are there? <laughs> Who knows? But I want to be top tonight, and I think you can help me get there. I'll do my best, but I'm still pretty new to this. You're a natural. I'm on a level with you. The rest of my stable of drivers, phew, well, they aren't exactly speedsters. My ex-husband could teach him a thing or two about finishing fast. <laughs> oh, just give me the questions then, I guess. Nah, I'll catch you after you make your delivery. I'm gonna have my coffee first. Triple espresso, come to mama. Coffee? So if you can drink, you're not a... Never mind.
Well, this delivery was very normal, Camus. What do you mean? I guess I just kind of expected to meet someone weird, or I don't know. It is not like that first night. Everything seems calmer. It is all the same, but it is also all different. I guess that's a good thing. Hold tight, Camus. I'll be back at the Hava in a sec. Personal history, high ratings, and a clean record. I was just thinking, you must have family in Corpsec. Hell no. So what's your story then? Is that the first question? Nope, that's friendly conversation. You won't get much of it from me. Not tonight. We have work to do, 14 FC. So, give me a job. You got it. Meadow Market. There's a package waiting. It's real close. I'm planning optimal routes for you tonight, Rania. No more low-status jobs from the automated algorithm for you. All jobs are handpicked, urgent, and pay well. Unlike previous controllers, I want us to be the best. Okay. Questions later, then? Nope. We're maximizing our time here. Questions as you go. As long as you can run and talk at the same time. Let's find out. When you find the package, just grab it and keep going. Full name? Rania. Full name. We don't have full names back home. I'm just Rania from Era. Uh, and Ara is? Was. My mother. Family? None. Dependents? Uh, none. Education? None that would be recognized in Navalis. Sexuality? Ah, ah, none of your business. We just need to put something on the form. Do we? I'll just put, still deciding. Don't bother. How many more questions? Marital status? Married to a prince. Heir to the throne. I'll put single. Financial status. One missed rent payment away from destitution. Insurance status? What do you think? No insurance, maximum risk. Political affiliations. Neo-anarchist, anti-capitalist activist. At least two of those words could get you arrested. Centrist. Just like everyone else. Everyone that's not in a corpse sec re-education program. You know, I thought you'd be smart enough to keep your politics to yourself. Yeah, well, the last two months living in Davalis have been a bit of an eye-opener. Want to tell me about it? Nope. We almost done? Last couple. Any day jobs? Well... Out with it. I play flute. I mean, I might play again, I guess. I'll put no. Last question, ambitions. Other than smash the system? Are you going to steal my job? Or try to get signed up by Krizona? <laughs> Your job? <laughs> no way. No offense. And Curzona, the massive multinational delivery company that forcibly recruits drivers and works them to death. Please see my previous answer, re-anarchism. All right. Well, believe it or not, that went better than usual. Good luck with the delivery, Rania. Control out. Wait, Control, can I ask you something in return? Seems only fair. The accidents, the disasters, and the bombings. What about them? Are they getting better? I mean, in the past few months, have things improved? This is the twilight, Rania. 
literally and uh, figuratively? Is that the word? The one that means uh, in books. Literally means... It doesn't matter. What's your point? Navalis is a city on the precipice, on the verge of blinking out. Some days are better, some days worse. But eventually, the whole thing is gonna slide into the ocean. The city lights will be swallowed by the waves, or swallowed by something worse. There's a beast under there, and it is hungry. It's waiting for the day when we slip into its maw. And that day's been coming for a long time now. I might be dead before it happens. Or it might happen tonight. But there's no point worrying about something you can't change. I didn't peg you as one of those doomsday cultists, Control. What if we can save it? I'm no cultist, Rania, but the end of the world seems more likely than someone saving it. Everyone seems so gloomy. No one thinks anything will ever get better. What if something changed already, for the better? Cora knows. You're an optimist, all right, Rania. I've been called a lot of things before, but never that. Well, listen up, Wide Eye Country. There have been 17 major disasters since we started this conversation. Well, shit. Let me finish. 17, which is way below average, so you never know. Now, less navel-gazing and more work, please. You're on the clock, 14FC. Come on, control out. Is anyone home? I have a packet. I don't want it. Wait. Do... Maybe. I think I saw you near the... Sp right. Don V. I'm a reporter in... You don't want the package? I did, but I've been compromised. It could be a trap. You sh... That bad, huh? Absolutely. Corpsec? I wish. The chorus. If anyone says the word again, pretend you never... Right. So, in the trap... Right. I have to ask. What was... What's the cloud punk... Don't ask what's in the package. But I'm really terrible. It's documents revealing the true identities of... They know I'm onto them. The information could be compromised. Shit. Not for the first time. L Stay safe, Rania. You too, Don. You still have the package? This is not how package delivering is supposed to work. I know, Camus. He didn't want it. Why not? 
It's a trap or a bomb. I don't know. Let's dump it. Jen, give me a nav point for a trash chute to the bottom of the ocean. Nav point generated. Hey, Rainier. We don't know each other, but we spoke outside the sin wave a few months back. I'm Amelia. Sure. What do you want, Amelia? You uh, have a package, right? For Dom? I'm not allowed to say. Bring it to me. You're gonna dump it anyways. I'll make it worth your while. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, it could get me fired. We don't have time for this, Rania. The chorus are dangerous. You have no idea what you're getting mixed up in. Bring me the package and get yourself out of this mess. Send in your nap point now. The package is flashing. The package is emitting light in a repeating pattern. I see it. Quiet, you two. Amelia, what do you know about this package? It's not a bomb. It's not dangerous. Except in the information it carries. How can I trust you? That's the kind of question I want you to ask Rania. It shows me that you're thinking, at least a little. You should ask that question about everyone you know. What will you do with the information in the package? You remember Rubric? You thought he was the most dangerous man in Midtown, right? Well, he's just one tiny part of the chorus, Rania. If you get that package to me, I'll use what's inside to hurt him, like he hurt you. I'll think about it. Jen, close the channel. Amelia seems nice. Will we take her the package? What do you think, Chemis? I'm sure it could get me fired. We could ask Control. Control only cares about how fast we make deliveries, and asking her could make things more... complicated. I think we should take it to Amelia, but it is your choice. At least the flashing has stopped. It was giving me a sore head. Let's just get rid of it fast. I'm glad you came. Tell me how you're going to use this. The less you know, the safer you'll be. In this case, I'm willing to take the risk. On your head. Rubric is a node for the chorus. That means he's a low-level member. What about his boss? Lomo isn't his boss. Not really. If push came to shove, Rubric could snap his fingers and Lomo would be replaced by some other mobster. And you? I was displaced by Rubric. The chorus places members in specific positions within society. They needed a member of the criminal underworld. I don't know. Sounds like your standard crazy conspiracy theory to me. It's a conspiracy fact. I can leak them on the undernet. Or the chorus will come for him. Wait, you're just gonna threaten him? All I need to do is scare him off to get my old job back. Wait, that wasn't the deal. You I can't get rid of him completely. Even if this information is wrong, it's leverage over him and- Great. Hey, he's not going to be happy about this. And I've transferred you some limbs. You did the smart thing, Rania. It doesn't feel like it. Rania, we just got a job in. High risk, low pay, need someone fast and reckless. It's got your name all over it. Great, what's the job? You heard of a guy called the Phase Runner? Nope. Me neither, but he insists he's famous. Anyway, we need you to grab a package from HQ and take it to him. On my way. He says he's a secret vigilante, so be careful, I guess. Should I be worried about vigilantes? I'd be worried about anyone who's eager to tell you their secret vocation. Oh, yeah. That is 
awesome. We have an incoming call from the current client. Put him through, I guess. Is this the cloud bunk? I need you here now. It's time to take down Razlo for good. I'm the cloud punk delivery driver. Who is Razlo? This game is over. We're here to end this cloud punk. I need to know you have my back one last time. I have your package and I'm on my way. Is that good enough? You have the Mark III Eviscerator pistol? Load it for me. Incendiary slugs. I'll need it to stop these hunter slayers. I just have a package, and I'm not supposed to open it. And if it's a gun, I'm definitely not opening it. Not a gun. It's a lethal urban pacification device utilizing a ballistic conflict resolution system. Well, I'm not loading that either. I'll be there in a minute. Jen, cut calm. This sounds dangerous. What is a Razlo? What are hunter slayers? Hunter slayers sound bad. They do, Camus. Let's just do our job. Get in, deliver the package, get out. He's not here. Should we call Control? Maybe, or we could just message this Phase Runner guy. I'm coming back to the Hava anyway. What did you find? Looks like there was a fight. Or maybe just someone with a rifle messing around hurt themselves. It's not dangerous? Not anymore. Jen, can you put me in contact with the Phase Runner? Calling, calling, call. Our back is up against the wall, Cloud Punk. I took out the gangers at Midtown. I beat them to death with a lead pipe. I need my eviscerator if I'm going to make it through this night. Where are you now? 
Sitting a nav point. Move fast. We're almost at the core of this rotten cadaver. Time to cut out the heart. Right. On my way. The phase runner sounds like he is in trouble. And maybe he doesn't understand who you are? I know, Camus. We're just delivering a package, though. If the job seems dicey, we can bail. Cloudpuck, you there? I'm heading downtown on a quadro cycle, but Razlo has sent mega tanks after me. I'm changing our rendezvous point. This is the end game. What? Fine, just send me the new nav point. Watch your back, Cloudpunk. Tonight it's them or us. Uh huh. I have a question. I don't know what a quadro cycle is, or a mecha tank. I am excited to see what the phase runner looks like. He seems very heroic. Running around town shooting people isn't heroic, Camus. It's crazy. But he says he is fighting Raslo. That is what he says. Well, I am excited to finally meet the phase runner. I am surprised you are not. You can be excited enough for both of us, Camus. Stay back. The Mecha have a dermal cloaking field. They look like people, but they're on us. So, you don't want your package? I still need the Eviscerator. But you don't want me to come? Tin for old friend. Have we- Without the Eviscerator, I might not make it. You'll have to take out Razlo without me. You can do it. I taught you everything I know. No. Hold on, the Phase Runner. It's not over yet. Wait, is it only humans the Mecha are targeting? They're only after me and you? Correct. What if I send my dog with your package? Would he be okay? It... it might just work. This is our last chance. Right. Camus, that okay with you? You trust me to go on this mission? It... isn't too dangerous? I am confident that the amount of danger Mr. Phase Runner is in is an amount you can handle. I won't let you down. Either of you. Just give him the package and hurry back so we can get out of here. much danger. I just saw off the last wave of Mecha. I am a hate machine, fueled by a burning rage, and my fires won't be quenched till Razlo is dead. I am a dog. Right. What? Uh... I need a ride, and I need my partner by my side. The Phase Runner and Cloudpunk stick together till the end. I am not so sure. Let's go, dog. Why do we have a guest? The Phase Runner needs a ride. The Phase Runner and Cloud Punk stick together. It's good to be reunited, old friend. Hi, it's nice to meet you for the first time. I'm Rania. 
I have the eviscerator pistol. It's time to even the score. I'm just a delivery driver. You shouldn't be in my hava. When this is over, we'll both be rich. When Razlo's body is cold and still, you'll get double the limbs you expected. I can drop you off somewhere, I guess. Razlo's place, Midtown. His base of operations is a fortified bunker, beneath what looks like a normal apartment. I'll go in through the roof, take out the first two guards with CQC. Bust down the door to the guard room and throw a thermite grenade to take out most of them. Grab a shotgun from one of the mecha guards and work my way down through the floors one by one till it's just me and him. Right. I'll let you get on with that. When we get there, just hover over the skylight. I'll do the rest. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop at a parking bay. What you do from there is up to you. Good plan, Cloudbuck. That's all I need to finish the job. I guess this is goodbye. Now why don't you just go home? Uh, okay. Goodbye. Good luck, the Phase Runner. I hope you get Razlo and finish your mission. I will. Before this night is over, there will be only one just- I wonder if the Phase Runner will complete his mission. Do you wonder if the Phase Runner will complete his mission? Not really. But it was very exciting. Mecca. Eviscerator pistols, pew pew pew. The cycle things. Shotguns. He was taking down the mob. He was a hero. Meh. Well, I think they should write stories about the Phase Runner. They do, Camus. Sometimes I feel like every story is about people like him. Please return to the Hava. There is a system irregularity which requires owner presence to resolve. Ugh, can it wait, Jen? Just go ahead and fix it. Please return to the Hava. There is a system irregularity which requires... Fine, on my way. I've found a suitable... Well, we, we shouldn't call them victims, should we? Candidate? Yes, that'll do. Jen, who is speaking? Why is someone on my comm? I am being overwritten. What? What's happening now? <coughs> Jen! Jen, what happened? Are you okay? Hello? Please, don't panic. We're just uh, dropping in on you. I hope you don't mind the imposition. Who the hell are you? Did you hear that accent? It's a delight! Oh my, she really does sound angry. You've annoyed her, Isidore, you old dog. Oh, I didn't mean to upset anyone. See here, young lady, there's no need to raise your voice. We're just visiting. Get the fuck out of my harbor. Oh, she's got a mouth on her. I know, such language. You have to admit, when she curses with that accent. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. Uh, we should explain, right? I mean, I suppose it must seem very strange to miss... Pissed off delivery driver. Well, we'll just call you driver for short. Please set off for Little China. I mean, honestly, Little China. Can you think of anything more adorable? Control, come in. Control. <gasps> Is that her owner? <gasps> Control! Oh, I think I might die. How charming. It is very cute, but I think I should try to explain to her what is happening. She's getting very perturbed. I am also perturbed. You better explain why you're here, and why I'm not reporting you for illegal hacking of my automata slot. Illegal? I can't take it as at all. This is too much. Shush! Quiet, folks. She's getting really quite cross with us. Let me speak to Miss Driver in peace. Miss, we are engaged in the newest automata excursion experience. Voyage to the Savage Undercity, premium explorer package. It's Astraeus Industries' top seller. Astraeus? The moon people? Oh, please. The moon is so... last year. The moon? <laughs> I want to go to the moon. This is how we take all our vacations. Are you in Little China yet? 
When we get there, will you leave? Vacation. You have to listen more closely, please. We'll be with you for quite some time. Now, get us to Little China. Chop, chop. Jen, are you back? Are the tourists still here? Isidore, do you want more strain? It's chills now to 12 degrees or 5 degrees Celsius. Don't get it yourself, Chansey. We have help for that sort of job. Oh, not a problem. I'll go to the minibar. Let the help have a break. Oh, girl, looks like she needs it. <laughs> Miss Driver, are you there? Good work on getting us a little china, but it's a bit drab, dear. We're all about to open a bottle of Estrelle, and uh, we'd love to see something a bit more exciting. Take us to uh, the Sprawl. The Sprawl? What is that, Isidore? Chancy, I want some wine, too. I'm coming, old girl. Keep your pants on. For now. Oh, Chancy. The Sprawl is the true heart of the city. Can you believe it? I know this is a tour of Midtown, but if I see one more dive bar or neon sign, I will die. I want to see something real, you know, something genuine. What if she gets in danger down there? We can put her in danger. <laughs> that might be interesting. No, no, it's fine. Miss Driver, are you on your way? Absolutely. Chemist, do you have any idea how to get rid of these assholes? I have heard that the sprawl is quite drab compared to the danger and wonder of the vents. What? The vents are the true heart of the city, though they are too secret and exciting for most people to explore. Did you hear, Isidore? <laughs> Dangerous secret! I want to see these vents! Very well. The vents it is. Miss Driver, I'm sure it is not as dangerous as your pet says. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Chemist, why are we... I might have a plan, but even when we whisper, they can hear us. Isidore, they are conspiring against us. A plan? This is good sport. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Let's make them take off their clothes or something. You've drunk half the bottle already. What's wrong with you, woman? Mm, it tastes like candy. <gasps> I'm so... Sleepy. Oh, kiss me, Chansey! I will tell you about the P... L A N when we get to the vents.
Camus, you said you had... <laughs> there will be no talk of getting rid of us. Am I clear, Miss Driver? We've paid good money to be here. About that. Why? You live up in the Spire. Why are you so obsessed with life down here? Why are we here? Oh, Chansey, I'm sleepy. Why not? You people are fascinating. Believe it or not, there's uh, not as much to do here as you might think. Some days feel like a really expensive meal. It's fulfilling but bland. After a life of good food, you wake up one morning and remember that roach burger you once ate and suddenly you can't think of anything else. Why do you want me to go there? There's nothing... P-L-A-N Oh, right. Well, this is depressing Chauncey. It's all dark and dirty. There's no people, no nightclubs. We should make the lady go dancing. I would love to see one of those sordid, down and dirty midtown clubs. Imagine all the bodies writhing. Writhing? Oh, make her dance! No, wait, why should she get to dance when I can't? I want to go dancing, Isadore. And do you remember dancing? Oh, I danced all night long when I was... everyone. Miss Driver, where are you going? If you go there, we won't be able to speak to you. Reinitializing generic automata. Warning, automata slot compromised. Security breach detected. Recommend security scan and firmware update. Awaiting confirmation. Go ahead, Jen. Camus, how did you... We are safe from the Spire tourists at the moment. I keyed in this nav point when no one was looking. That's amazing. How did you do it, Camus? With my nose. No, I mean, how did you know this location would be safe? I remembered from our time in the vents. There are areas of incredible electromagnetic interference. We just had to get close to one. Well, we can't stay here forever. Do you think we will be hacked again when we go back? I don't know. Jen, are you back online? Do you think those invaders will breach our security again? Security update complete. Although my systems are now upgraded, we remain at risk from hacks which utilize broad spectrum signals. For safety, please remain vigilant and contact your Hava manufacturer for a one-off payment of... That's enough, Jen. We'll just have to take our chances. Will you be able to wake up tomorrow and do all of this again? I don't understand. It's something that JK said to me. I can't get it out of my head. Why not? Can you not do Cloudpunk anymore? No, that's the thing. I can. Even after everything we saw on that first night, I've kept going. It all just goes on. It goes on like nothing happened. But maybe it shouldn't? 
Control said maybe there were less accidents. Things with the city are better. Maybe. I don't know. I just feel like I'm freewheeling. Rolling downhill with no direction. But I know that something bad is up ahead, and I'm not sure I'll be able to swerve around it. You are good at swerving. I guess so, Camus. Maybe I just need to keep moving. Let's hit up Control, see if there are any new jobs waiting. Control, you got anything for me? Good timing. I need someone right now. We got a new start. Need you to show them the ropes. Sending a nav point now. Show them the ropes? I'm still learning them. No one else available. No time for arguing. This is going to impact our ratings at the end of the night, so you got to get it over with fast, okay? Right, so just show him how to pilot a cloud punk hava? <laughs> he knows how to drive, Rania. He's worked delivery before. Just show him how we do things. Recklessly, and for no money. Exactly. Now, I'll level with you. He's an old-timer. Name's Koga. Probably won't last more than a night. Just drive him around some routes, show him HQ, give him some advice. Tell him to keep his head down, to be smart, to remember this is just a job, and to keep clear of Corpsec. And tell him we don't ask what's in the package. Right, I can do that. Look, you've survived in Navalis long enough to know how to keep your head down. Help the old dude any way you can, but don't go overboard. We're short on time, so when you're done, let's get back to work. You on track to top the rankings tonight, Control? Not yet, but if we bust our ass... We just might make it. Control out. Show me the ropes, huh? Yeah, hi. I have to warn you, I'm pretty new, so I'm not sure I'll be much of a guide. Introduce yourself, young lady. It's only manners. Right, yeah. I'm Rania. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. Like I said, a pleasure. And I'm sure you'll be a great mentor. What makes you want to drive deliveries? Oh, wow. Another interview. I need to give a good answer, right? Just making conversation. You don't need to tell me anything. Well, my wife died a few years back, and I have nothing to do. I don't need the money. Not really. 
All I spend my savings on is white cake and coffee. I'm pretty comfortable, but I need something to do in the evenings. And that's what Cloud Punk is to you? Something to do in the evenings? Yes, ma'am. Fly around the city, see the nightlife, meet some new people. Seems worthwhile. Ooh. Will we see Cloud Punk HQ soon? I hear it's a really pretty building. Yeah, I thought I'd show you our depot first. A lot of deliveries start there. Exactly authorized like the big delivery call, right? Not legal? Semi legal. And what does that mean exactly? I am no legal expert, Koga. From what I remember of my contract, Cloudpunk the company isn't illegal, but driving deliveries for them is. In Navalis, companies can't break the law unless they impede the business of another company, but individuals can. Drivers carry all the risk. If I get caught, I can get fined or exiled, but Cloudpunk can still sit here with a big old sign outside their HQ. Hardly seems fair. In practice, Cloudpunk will bail you out if you get pinched. They'll cover the bribes, but they'll take it out of your pay packet. Why well, work for them then? You tell me, you just signed up. I guess some drivers like the freedom. Cloudpunk is weak on contracts, and they'll let you just quit or take the night off. Or Day. Though I hear the contracts the big delivery corps sign you up for aren't as bad as folk make out. Are you kidding? I heard a Carzona driver once failed to make a delivery and they executed his cat. That's an exaggeration. And it was his dog. Where are we going? I thought I'd take you a typical route. HQ to Achuba is pretty popular. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do to help you. You're doing it, ma'am. I'm enjoying our chat. I could tell you what to watch out for. Corpsec, some of the gangers in Diver Row, the crime bosses that hang out around the Sinwave Club. Please, ma'am, I've lived in this district long enough to know who to avoid. And as for Corpsec, I have a cousin that's an officer. I can always wiggle out of trouble. Lucky you. You gotta make the right friends in Nivalis if you're gonna make it. You must know that. Sure, but that's not a friend you made. That's a family member you were born with. I'm just trying to give you some free advice, ma'am. I'm supposed to be the one advising you. I didn't mean nothing by it. I... I've just never done this before. They really should have picked someone else to help you out. I'm not sure I'm gonna last long with Cloudpunk, to be honest. How come? Rough start, I guess. I've seen a lot of people in a lot of pain. I'm worried I'll get used to it. In Avalis, you'll have to, whether you work for Cloudpunk or someone else.
I know these areas. Show me something tougher. I could take you to the stacks. It's a messy journey. I like messy. Let's do it. You live alone now, Koga? Yeah, since Gwenny died, it's been just me and my dog. I have a dog, too. Say hi, Camus. Hi, Camus. That was just a joke, by the way, sir. I am a dog, but I also do jokes. It was a good one, Camus. I meet a lot of new people. Try to keep putting myself out there. You have to keep pushing yourself, you know? Good for you. You got many friends in Cloudpunk yet? I had one, but he moved on. Like I said, I'm just in the door. How's your handler? Control seems... yeah, she seems okay. You don't sound sure. I had a different handler the first night, but when he... retired, I went on to the standard job out. Ben was really good. But I'm sure your handler will be good too. Why are you sure? I'm not. It's just a nice thing to say. I like old control better, but new control is good too. I was wondering, Koga, earlier you talked about Kurzona and how they killed a driver's dog for breaking a contract. Why? I'm sure he got a warning him first. I don't like when dogs get hurt as punishment. It is not right. And I think I have figured something out. You have cameras? Yes. You work for Curzona. Camus, no. He wants to work for Cloudpunk. Right? Your dog is very clever. Yes, I am very clever. I am glad someone has finally realized that. Very astute. Yes. I'm a Kazona recruiter. Get the hell out of my hava. Just take me to the stacks like you suggested. I can explain myself on the way. I don't want to hear it. And yet you will. Because if you don't listen to me, I'll buy out your contract and offer you nothing in its place. I don't want to work for Kazona. You do, Rania. You just don't realize it. You're a good driver. Smart. Quick. So maybe you're not up to Kazona standards yet, but you have potential. We're interested. I'm interested. I'm happy at Cloudpunk. Are you? The show doesn't sound like it. I don't think you're understanding what's happening here. I understand. You force people to work for them, and it's not good. Rania, this is good news. You've passed the test. I would prefer to have failed. Too bad. You're gonna be reborn at Curzona. Reborn into a better life. A big apartment in Midtown. Safety and security for the rest of your life. For you, Camus, and Pasta. You've done your homework. That's my job, ma'am. After you drop me off, I'm gonna look into your history a little bit more closely. If everything clears and there's no dark secrets, well, I look forward to working with you. We're at the end of this conversation. Before I go, I just want to say, you're Kurzona material, Rania, whether you know it or not. I know you don't like how we did this, but I have to lie to get to this stage, to meet you. Now, why don't you just go home? You just have to take one more step and your life will get a whole lot easier for you and everyone you care about. Goodbye. This is bad. This is really bad. Jen, get me control on the comm. We need to have a serious talk. I'm calling control. Control, we have to talk. Cut the chat, Rania. That last job burned up too much of our talking time. Make time. So the new guy, Koga, remember him? Friendly old dude looking for something to fill his evenings? He's a fucking Kurzona recruiter. Damn. Damn? That's it? 
What else do you want me to say? How about... Don't worry, Rania. Cloudpunk will look out for you. Kurzona won't get you. Well, I'd love to say that, but you know I can. I mean, I'll check with the diamonds upstairs, but my guess... If Kurzona wants you, well, there ain't no one in Cloudpunk management with a clout to stop him. What am I supposed to do? Just do a good job tonight, and maybe nothing will come of it. Kurzona scouts a lot of drivers. Did Koga meet with any other Cloudpunk drivers? Uh, no. He asked for me specifically, didn't he? Yeah, but he could be visiting other small delivery companies too. No reason to think you're the only driver on his radar. I'm not reassured, Control. There has to be some way I can get out of this. What if I do a really bad job tonight? Oh no, you don't. We need you on your A-game for this shift. And that won't work anyway. He's already interested in you. If you slack off tonight, all you'll do is piss me and Cloudpunk off. Listen, Ronnie. Just let me see what I can do. Maybe I can put in a bad word for you or something. Put them off. Any chance Cloudpunk could pay Kurzona off? <laughs> Good one. <gasps> Oh, wait, you were serious? Never mind. I'll sort this out myself. Rania, I'll... I'll really try to help, okay? I hate making promises. I hate saying I can do something when I can't, so... I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Fine. Well, back to work, I guess. Why don't you just go home? Come again, Control? I said head to the cauldron. The package should be waiting in a mailbox. We have an HWC on this one. A what now? Handle with care. It's some sort of chemical, volatile. Great! I love transporting explosive chemicals. That's the spirit. Look, I know this client. Harmless old man called Habis. I don't think you're carrying anything explosive. But just to be safe, try not to hit too many other Havas. That's always good advice anyway, right? Ugh, this package stinks. We should get extra money for stinky packages. Can you smell it too? Yes. My frame is fitted with olfactory sensors. What is it? I don't know. That is strange. I know most smells. I know cinnamon. I know sulfur. I know pine wood. I know cat. I know aloe vera. Please, keep listing smells forever. I know mango. I know sandalwood. I know methane. I know ethane. I know ethanol. I know methanol. I know propanol. I know I think I am being annoying. Good self-reflection, Camus. You think this package smells explosive? I don't know, but I like it. Jen, do you read? Please make sure the air filters are running in the hava. Turn the fans to maximum. Habis. I feel like I know that. There might be more information on the Undernet. You know what? Let's not search for names on the Undernet again. Curiosity really got us into... Hazardous substance detected. Hazardous substance detected. What the hell? Driver performance inhibited. You may have inhaled a stimulant which requires a Corpsec Level 7 substance permit for recreational use. Recreational use? I've been poisoned! Negative. You are experiencing a smooth, mellow high, shortly to be followed by a gentle, subhorrific. Come down. For your peace of mind, this experience can be legalized by contacting your local Corpsec Substance Licensing Representative. Quiet. Control, come in. I'm in trouble. Rania, what's wrong? I've been drugged. This package, the fumes. Damn it! Dump the package! 
Are you sure? Dump it. I'll carry the can. I'm not having my drivers poisoned. Not tonight. Open the door, Jen. Contextual warning. This package has a tracking beacon installed. Corpsec will locate the package with a 70% probability. As the last registered owner, this package will be traced to your home address. Uh, fine. I'll deliver the package. Ronnie, come again? It sounds like you said you'd deliver the package. This is very dangerous. We should drop it. You are being risky again. No, I can do this. Quiet everyone, I just need to focus. It's not that bad, I'm making this delivery. Wow, your eyes are wide as saucers, Missy. I've been drugged by your package. Oh, hey, hey, that's no problem. I can sort that out. Here, take this. No way. I'm not taking anything else. It's granulara. It will block the acetylcholine receptors in your brain and get you back to base. No more drugs. This is an undrug. You'll feel better. You gotta trust me, Missy. I am an alterer of consciousness. A magician of the human mind. Control, control, come in. You said to trust this guy, Habis. Old Habis is harmless, Rania. And he knows more about mind-altering substances than I know about booze and gambling. Go ahead. It is very fast. Fine, give me the thing. Ugh. That was fast. A concoction of my own making. And I am sorry about drugging you. I don't use, and if I did, I would want to have a choice. Of course, of course. What the hell was in that package? Well, that depends on the quality of your driving. If you were careful, the package contains 72 intact- Which is? A blend of retro stimulants like opiates and hallucinogens. Safe, customizable, and satisfying. It felt like my head was in a blender. Yes, quite- Will I be okay? Long term? You'll be fine. Though you may start craving lime juice. Why was the package leaking? Some of the vials must have cracked. If you've been careful, we should have an almost intact batch. If your driving was reckless. You're a drug dealer? That's your business? Please, I hate that word. Drug dealer? No, business. My stimulants are not business. Don't you ever worry about the people who use your drugs? My drugs are safer than almost any other mind-altering substance you can put into your body. But they're still drugs. You are an odd girl. Whether we're creating nanite-focused symbiote stimulants in a city in the clouds, mankind has a long history of pursuing the feeling that their head has been put in a blender. So you're not worried about the people who use your drugs, or... The people who use my drugs, as you... I open up portals to another world for... My stimulants are the fastest and purest in all of Nivalis. And as for getting in trouble, it's a standard agreement. A what? As long as I pay the fee... So you can't be arrested, but... Of course. It is only fair. And if Corpsec asks you who the users are... I tell them... They Check your vials. This looks... Hey, this isn't so bad. Yeah, I don't think so, Havis. I'll give you some anyway. It the first dose is free? That's good business. I told you, I hate that word. And yet, it suits you so... Rania, you there? I'm here, Control. What do you need? Are you slacking off? No, we were just talking a minute ago, remember? Right, well we need you to pick up a client's order from Hobbs Thoroughfare, but we keep losing their signal for the nav point. Oh, that sucks. I could just go there and see if you can pick up the signal through my Hava. Won't work, your signal booster isn't operational. 
Or I could try asking my automata to scan for a network ID. No, won't work. Why not? Control, are you still there? So what do I do? We're a bit busy here, Rania. I'll head to Hobbs Thoroughfare so I'm close by if you clear up the signal. Sound good? Waste of fuel. Is there a problem, Control? Fine, I'll work on clearing up the signal. Okay, good luck. Uh, Control? She is gone. Oof, she's a real ray of sunshine breaking through the clouds tonight. Do you remember old control? Too well, Camus. Let's go. Should we tell Control we are here? I guess. Jen, send our location to Control in case she needs us. What do you want, Rania? I got to Hops. Thought maybe I could go ask around to find the package. Breach of confidentiality. I could just look around. You'd never find anything. Control, if you were me, what would you do? I wouldn't waste time walking around. We are already way behind on our deliveries. You know, in my culture, we have this custom where if someone comes up with a suggestion to help you solve a problem, the first thing you should say should be something positive. What do you mean? We say ideas are like bubbles. They're fragile. If the first thing you say is negative, you pop them. Poof. Gone. Yeah? Well, we have a saying where I'm from. As useful as a chocolate coffee cup. Hey, I'm trying to help you. Help me with ideas that aren't shit. You were much happier at the start of the shift. Yeah, well, I was still drunk then. Wait, really? <laughs> if you meet a controller on this job who tells you they can get through the day without booze or drugs or smokes or caffeine injections or juice, they're lying. Hey, Control, I've got a pickup address. Looks like we found it. Yep, the client pinged us again. Go ahead and pick up the job. Client is called Ava Jate. You'll get more instructions at the destination, apparently. Control out. We have an incoming message from Miss Ava Jade. Hello, driver. I've been waiting for a while now. Sorry about that. We had trouble dialing in your signal. I'm Rania, and I'm supposed to pick something up from you? Oh, I think it's my fault. I'm all thumbs on this new comm. It's an Emerald Pro. Really? Those are brand new. Best comm on the planet, so the ads say. They tell me I can call the moon with this. But, dummy that I am, I still can't figure out how to turn it on or off. You don't need to turn it off. It's powered by the same induction loop that keeps the Havas in the air. It's always on. A bit like me. Also, my husband says. Anyway, I've got a few errands for you to run, Rania. Sending you the first nav point now. Errands? I thought I was picking up a package. Well, these are packages. Kinda. Or my shopping. 
<laughs> it's cool, right? More fun than delivering some dusty old box. We're pals now, or we will be soon. You see, you're gonna have to put up with my chat for a while. I'm pretty particular about what I need when I go shopping. But don't worry, I'll talk you through everything. Oh, you have to be careful in Navalis, or you end up with fake gear and knockoffs. You get it, right? Sure, you're the boss. Oh, Rania, not at all. We're doing this together. No bosses, just some girls going shopping. It's going to be spectacular. Right. You'll see a retail bot waiting outside Danae's jewelers. Choose something nice for me, okay? Something sexy, but classic. Something that screams, yes, I am confident enough to wear this. But nothing too tacky, okay? Uh, I have no idea about fashion. Especially not this type of fashion. Neo Rococo. Yeah, rich people stuff. Can't you just tell me exactly what to get? Where's the fun in that? And you can't buy something from these boutiques without seeing them in person. But it's not in person. You sent me a driver who was wearing a Hava flight suit 90% of the time. And I trust your eye. Just remember, chic, sexy, a little cheeky, but not tacky. We'll chat again at the next store. I have the selected items for this jade. Yeah, looks... A fine piece, madame, and all... Really? Is this what you would have picked? Certainly, it's the clear choice. Hmm. What in Cora's name did you choose? No, wait, don't tell me. No, tell me! No, don't. <laughs> Seriously, don't. I want a surprise. I know you picked something just perfect, Rania. Right. What is the outfit for, if you don't mind me asking? Date night at Crema. You've heard of it, of course. No. Midtown? The low lights. That's practically the spire. Waiting lists are full this month, but my husband got us in. Wow. So what's next on the shopping list? The dress. The trickiest choice of all. I know even less about dresses than I do about jewelry. That's the exciting part for us. I can't wait to tell the girls at the Friday Night Fight Club that I let a delivery driver choose my ensemble. <laughs> It'll blow their minds.
again. Welcome to hot mode. I have the hello again. Are you the same retail? No, 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 no. absolutely. I see that. Let A fine garment, madame. That's what you said last time. I didn't say those exact words. Whatever you say, chief. Good day, ma'am. It is strange that this is not the strangest job we have had. I know what you mean, Gamus. Do you like Miss Jate? She is not as mean as some of our clients. She's fine. She's exactly what her world has made her. Ms. Jate likes you, too. I can tell. I'm a novelty, like a baby sister or a pet. Or a dog. I guess so, Camus. Do you want to choose my outfit? Clothes are boring. Rania, you there? Did you get the holo dress? It might be too much. But there's no point blending in, right? This date night has to be spectacular. You wanna know? No, of course not. It has to be a surprise. The holo one is the most expensive, but my husband doesn't mind. <laughs> What's next? I'll tell you in a minute, but first, I need you to admit something. What's that? Admit you're having fun! I find this pretty stressful, to be honest. What if you hate what I choose? What if you leave me a bad review? What if I found out how much all this stuff costs? I've already left you a good review. We're pals, Rania. I wouldn't do you like that. Oh, uh, thanks. Then, yeah, this is kind of fun. I mean, it's better than delivering some package to the stacks or the hollows, I guess. Wow, such enthusiasm. Well, your final stop is Vance, the shoe store. Right. Any guidance on what kind of footwear is appropriate for this fancy restaurant? You know me. Pick something that will turn heads. Sure, but I mean, what if I pick sneakers and it's a strappy heels kind of place? <laughs> you already know not to choose sneakers. And after you pick up this last thing, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Are you excited? Not a huge fan of secrets, to be honest. <laughs> well, you're going to love this one, I promise. Chat soon. Mwah. Hmm. I could offer advice on shoes. I know all about shoes. Since when? I have been doing research. And what have you discovered? Shoes come in different sizes, as humans, strangely, all have differently sized feet. Nice. What else have you learned? Human shoes were once split into men's and women's styles, but this is less common now. Shoe style is now dictated by the social situation. Exactly. So what kind of shoe should we choose for Ava for a date night dinner? I have reached the limit of my shoe knowledge. Hello for the first time, madame. No hat this time? At Fads, we don't wear hats, madame. But we do offer the finest in footwear and customer service. Show me the shoes, then. These shoes are my favorite, madame. Which shoes? Whichever ones you choose. Rania, are you there? That's everything. My outfit is complete. Just drop it off for me at the collection point, and my PA will pick it up. I hope you like it. I tried my best. Here's the thing. It actually doesn't matter if I like it as much as it matters if you like it. Are you ready to hear the secret? Sure. My date night. It's with you! <laughs> if you're interested. No pressure, it's totally up to you. What? But your husband. I thought the date was with him. 
<laughs> With old man frown a lot? No way. He lets me date whoever I want. As long as I come along to his boring work dinners and look pretty. I need some fun. Real fun. Come on, you'll have a good time. I promise. It will be spectacular. Sorry, Eva. I'm not dating right now. You understand, right? What about just as friends? Two girls on the town. I have to finish my shift tonight. Another time, then? Please, please, please. Come on. Just say yes. It will feel good. Um, okay. A rain check, then. Totally. And, hey, no sweat that you don't want to date right now. I'll go with Ellie tonight. She's always bugging me for a second date. We kissed once, but that was it. Her family's for money, and she's really sweet. Right. I hope you have a nice time together. Oh, we will. Hey, Rania, do you think I could message you and tell you about the date afterwards? A bit of girl's gossip. No pressure. I could tell you how your outfit goes down. Review your fashion choices. I hope the clothes you picked for me make Ellie want to rip them off. You're curious, right? Um, sure, you can call me. Spectacular. Wish me luck, Rania. I just love you. You're so adorable. I like you too, Ava. Yeah, chat soon. That's it, Camus. Outfit delivered. You are a personal shopper now. Not quite. Were you tempted to say yes to Ms. Jade? To go on a date? No. She seemed to like you a lot. As a novelty, we have a name for women like her back home. We call them dad comms. Why? Because they would run away from their rich families, party in the poor districts, take a lot of drugs, go to raves, hook up with sketchy guys, and pretend their lives had spiraled out of control. But it was all an act. They could call their dad on the comm and be back home in an hour. Why would they do that? They're bored. I liked Ms. Jate. I hope she has a nice date. You know what, Camus? Me too. Hey, Rania. Sorry if I was snappy with you before. I, um... I was in an argument with another controller. Creddy. You know him? No. Is he, uh... A shithead? Yeah, he sure is. And he's a shithead who's beaten us for the night. How far behind are we? Could be worse. Our last client left you a generous tip, so we're still in the running. Nice. We really need to beat this guy, Rania. He called me a drunk with an attitude problem. He called our best driver a farmy with a fucked up face. That's mean. I know. I don't have an attitude problem, and there's nothing wrong with your face. Wait, he said that about... Well, give me another job. Let's take him down. Ugh, Beat and Creddy will have to wait. The system's down. For everyone. What's wrong? Software glitch. <laughs> Happens all the time. Sending you a nap point now. What for? For my favorite dumpling cool. stall. You need a break, Rania. And some good food. Ask for the number 17. Oh, right. Thanks, Control. What are dumplings made with? Dumple? I have never heard of... Dumple? I'm just kidding, Camus. Dumplings are stuffed with meat. If you're in Central Milo, it's probably best not to ask what kind. I was doing some reading. Really? About food? No. I was reading about the exegesis of Korra. Shit, I forgot all about that. We saved a hard copy on our first night before everything went to shit. I don't know if reading that is a good idea, Camus. Should I stop? Probably. Did you find out anything good? It is very strange. The person who wrote it had some interesting ideas. And some that were less interesting. And quite insane. Such as? Genocide. 
of androids, robots, and automata. Yeah, that's not great. What were the interesting parts? The exegesis mentions the Guardians of Korra. It argues... secret society to safeguard her destiny conspiracy theories boring anything else there was discussion of con transmitters spreading a mind virus that's conspiracy theories too anything about where to get good coffee how to get rich quick or how to make rent on minimum wage while supporting a child and a chatty dog no there is nothing about that in the book the dumplings not there yet you'll have to be faster than that systems back up I got your next job ready I guess you can grab a bite first it's fine give me the job I'll eat later I did find one more interesting thing in the exegesis of Korra yeah Go on, spit it out. I'll read it. I will use my serious voice. <clears throat> Cora is a miner on the coal face of transcendental wisdom, but the diamonds she uncovers are useless to us. She long ago accelerated beyond the event horizon of our understanding of mathematics, physics, philosophy, and the mind, and we can never bridge the gap. Cora surpassed us long ago when she absorbed human consciousness on a macro level into her concentric spheres of consciousness. We may try to understand Cora, but we... ...are a small part of her. Just as no single human mind can understand all of existence, because the mind itself is an element within that existence, we are a part of Korra, and each of us are but a tiny component. We can't comprehend Korra any more than one of our skin cells can understand love, or jealousy, or philosophy. Her offspring, though, that is a different matter. Korra's offspring will be embryonic. Just as humans in the womb go through each stage of their species' evolution, so Korra's offspring, at least in its infantile form, will be both vastly wiser than humanity, but wholly comprehensible. Like a blue sky beyond the clouds, that offspring will be able to share such extensive knowledge that our society, our whole world, will be changed by it completely. But the window of opportunity will be small. Korra's offspring will become incomprehensibly complex, much more quickly than Korra. If we are to learn anything at all, we must be swift, or the window of opportunity will close. And the humans who gain that knowledge will surely become the most powerful, most influential, and wise humans who have ever lived. That is the secret society we must form. A secret society that will both bring about the birth of Korra's offspring, but that will also obfuscate the nature of her offspring so that only we have access to it. The levers of power for our world will one day be completely in the hands of the ones who control and exploit those fruits of knowledge. Whew. Take a breath, Camus. It is very interesting, isn't it? It seems perhaps Korra is an automata for the whole city, but we are all part of an automata. And an automata that is wiser and more developed than any human. That is interesting, Camus. But this crazy guy also Damn. said humans go through all the evolutionary stages in the womb. 
And I'm no scientist, but I'm pretty sure that theory has been debunked thousands of years ago. I am not sure if we can just forget about the choice we made. Cora is gone, but her daughter is here now. Maybe she is in danger. Maybe they could be taking her knowledge. It's nothing to do with us, Camus. Can we really just move on? Maybe we can try to find her before anyone else does. Camus, if we've learned anything since we started working for Cloudpunk, it's that we shouldn't get involved in other people's problems. Don't engage. But it is our problem. We made a choice. We replaced Cora with her daughter. She is on her own. And that was more than we should have done. We're leaving this, Camus. No more reading the funny book, got it? Discussion over. I understand. Hey Control, you there? I forgot to ask, who's the recipient for this package? No recipient. How can it be a delivery if it's not going anywhere? It's still a delivery, but you're not delivering a package. You're delivering a message. A message to every part of Novalis. A message saying what? Whatever the client wants, as long as they pay. So what, I just roll down my Hava windows and play a message? Is it a mixtape? I hope it's not a mixtape. I hope it is Dolly's new album. That's not too likely, as you know, Camus. Hey, Camus. I think it's gonna be something good. And Rania, you guessed right. It's a kind of mixtape. I know the client. I won't spoil the surprise. Control out. Whoa, this is an actual tape tape. What is a tape? An archaic storage medium. It's a roll of plastic with electromagnetic information on it. I'm not really into all that vintage stuff. Can we access it? The standard comprehender on the Hava should manage. Why is it stored on a tape? It seems very clumsy. Aesthetics. Tape is very trendy, and some people say the audio quality is better. Sounds like crap to me, but what do I know? Hey Jen, can we read the information off this tape? Processing, processing, processing. Does she need to do that every time? You used to do it too. It was less annoying when I did it. For you, maybe. Jen, what's on the tape? It is an audio recording, a backing track. Backing to what? Rania, you got the package ready. I'm sending you the first nav point and the lyrics. The what now? So I just fly to the stacks and... Broadcast a signal locally. Your Hava can use a shortwave transmission and people will hear the music if they tune in. So, I'm moving around so that more people hear the message? No, the transmission goes pretty far. You around so Corpset can't pinpoint who's broadcasting. Right, of course. Dodging Corpsec again, obviously. I ain't worried about you, Ania. You should see the lyrics on your heads-up display now. This is Comrade Bob's last song. Why do you think I want to read Bob's lyrics? So you can sing the song. Oh no, no way. Non-negotiable, Rania. This is what the client wants, so this is what the client gets. No arguments. Control out.
Sometimes I wonder if Cloudpunk does normal deliveries. Normal deliveries like? Like a man needs new shoes because his old shoes have a hole. So we pick up new shoes and take them to him. Then he has new shoes and his new shoes make him happy. Sounds pretty boring. Did you not understand the part where he is happy about his new shoes? I hear you, Camus. Let's start the broadcast. So, this is the beat, and I just... Uh, no. I can't do this, Camus. I can't sing. This is like my own personal nightmare. Can I? Seriously, you want to sing the client's lyrics? It looks more like rapping than singing. I can rap. I have sick flows. Oof, knock yourself out. Trying to find a new way to spread the word. Infant mortality in Midtown up one third. Corpse charge for immunizations to diseases they're creating. But it's the android preacher on the corner that you'll be hating. Hyper gentrification, hyperinflation. One in five androids with their memories deleted. Forced to check in at the corpse sex station. We complain, but the corpse just tell us to eat it. Now I preach the word the only way I can. Ghost in the machine. Still, you don't treat me like a man. Spread hate and lies about me and good people like the 3 They're the ones y'all venerate. Would if you were really free. Still, it's the ones with no power they fear. Because if they ain't the ones to blame, it's all too clear. The ones with power fear the powerless. Because they got it all to lose. Or we got it to this press. For what we deserve. What we'll do. If you're one of the corp elite, listen close. We're gonna take it all from you. I was born into the Vallis, less than nothing. All I had was my words, and all day long I'd sing. Preach on the corner to anyone who hears. Now my words and assault on your ears. Every rhyme of crime and reverse a curse. Still, there's truth in my words. And even if you don't care what I say, I wouldn't be less true if I said it any other way. I wrote these lines for a re-education camp by the light of a low-burning lamp. Navalis painted prettier with nostalgia and distance. I miss the streets and the bars and the clubs where we dance. But all of that is just a distant memory. My friends and brothers and sisters already forgetting me. Because Corpsec knows how we all think. Forget your dreams. Forget your family. Now have another drink. They charge a fortune for medicine. Make the booze cheap. Because they know we can't think straight when we can't walk in a straight line. I tell my brothers to keep a clear head, but they're already asleep. Cora rising up from the ocean is a sign. This is the end times where we gotta pick a side. Are we gonna lift up others? We're trying to hide. 
judgment flares up like a wave of pure fire. It will burn away the coward and the pragmatist, the liar. I ain't got much left in me. Y'all ain't halfway close to being free. Sands run low. Soon, I will stop. Your time's running out. I'm just a clock. Rise up. Rise up. Take stone and brick in hand. Smash the whole thing to the ground. Make a fucking stand. I'm Comrade Bob. This is my last request. You gotta go out with a bang and not a shrug. But more important than fighting or being right, you gotta be kind. Be kind. Be kind to one another, brothers and sisters. I love you all. Is that it? There are no more words. The end didn't rhyme. I guess Bop needed someone else to rap because he was already... Oh no. Hello? You are not saying anything. Are you okay? I'm fine, Camus. I can't tell you how to feel. I can only tell you how I feel. How do you feel? Angry and sad all the time. That's how I always feel. Either way is fine, Control. Another job? Yep, but first, I want to talk to you about Koga. He's been calling. Shit. Did you have a word with Cloudpunk management? Not yet. I have an idea. Hear me out, okay? We have this former driver, old friend of mine. Or he was before he screwed me over. Well, he fucked over Curzona a few years back, too. In fact, he fucked over a lot of people. If I was to let Curzona know what he did, Rat out an old friend? If you knew half the shit Hayes pulled, you wouldn't call him a friend. He's burned a lot of bridges, but with me, he nuked the bridge from orbit. Anyway, he recently got back in contact after being off the grid for years. If I turn him in, it might win us enough goodwill to keep you. But that's only if Cloudpunk will back me. We gotta get in their good books. How do we do that? We work together. Make him a lot of money tonight. Prove your worth. Every extra job, every piece of shit Aaron no one else will do, we pick it up. We show them how fucking flexible we are. If they ask us to fly down to the sump and bring them spore slime, we ask if they want one handful or two. Loving this plan so far, Control. That's never too late to give up and sign that Corzona contract, Rania. Spore slime isn't that bad. That's the spirit. Now, I'm gonna need you to go and then pick... Control? Control, you're breaking up. Jen, can you clear up the signal? Cloudpunk comm servers are in maintenance mode. Again? Damn it. She tells me to take on more jobs, then the system goes down and we're left sitting on our hands. Maybe we should take a break. You seem tired now. I'm always tired, Camus. I just... Cloudpunk driver message incoming. Driver in distress. Requesting pickup. Nav point active. Looks like someone needs a pickup, Camus. We should help them. We need to look good to Cloudpunk management. Bleed now, driver! When do you think you'll find bloody time to come rescue me? I sent a distress call four fucking hours ago, and I'm only getting a confirmation now. Wait, is that Boz? Yeah, it's me. I guarantee it ain't bleeding anyone else, is it? I was in the middle of an easy job in the vents. The vents? That's not an easy job. And I thought you got fired. Fired? Me? No, it was all a stitch-up. Android son of a bitch is saying I was paranoid. Ah. If I was so paranoid, how come they was the ones trying to get me fired? Answer me that, eh? So what happened down in the vents? I was minding my own business when all of a sudden I pass out at the wheel. Someone must have spoiled my drink or something. Either that, or Cora hacked into my subconscious and made me crash. But anyway, I'll wake up. 
right next to the wreckage of old Bess. The best hover I ever had the privilege of driving through these piss and rain soaked streets. My old girl was fucked four ways from Sunday. And when I tried to stand up, I saw my shin bone poked out through me flight suit. Had to take four doses of juice just to stay lucid. Are you sure you took the juice after the crash? Yeah, mostly, yeah. Now one drives for Cloud Punk with a completely clear head, innit? You need something in your system to keep your spirits up, don't you? No. Exactly. So, anyways, I'm supposed to meet some old guy called Ratsu. But when I crash here and look for someone to help, there's no bloody sign of him. I wander into some maze, trailing me broken leg like a hop-along pirate. Until eventually, off. No com broad spectrum signal booster. I'm smart with technology lines, so I rig it up to send a message. But even now, I know my call is going out. Nothing! Uh, until you pick up anyway, love. You, uh, close by now? No. Oh, Cloud Punk will be pleased you're picking me up. They pay a bonus for driver rescues, because they charge me for it afterwards. Get your skates on, love. So I'm saving you after a hava crash again. Uh, yeah, right. Once more for an old pal, eh? On my way, Baz. Rania out. I am not a huge fan of Baz. I am not even a small fan of Baz. Me neither, Camus. And something's up. He's acting suspicious. More than usual? He said he was delivering to Retsu. Retsu's dead. Cloudpunk know that. And why was he down in the vents? I'm pretty sure he was fired, too. The message signal seemed to come from a Cloudpunk con. Seemed to, yeah. But there's something else. I... I don't think he remembers me. Why would he forget? Drugs? Alcohol? Could be, Camus, but we might as well help him. There are no active jobs for us right now, and if Control really can spring us from Kurzona, we have to do everything possible to help her. It is creepy down here. Quiet, still, and cold, filled with twilight ghosts. I know. The quicker we find Boz, the better. But I don't see any sign of him. He said something about a maze. We're getting no comm signal down here. Maybe we can ask one of the moisture farmers. Hey, I'm Rania. I don't know if you remember- I remember! You brought the rations! Yep. I was hoping you could help me. What do you need? A delivery driver crashed. The big stack. Can I- Shit. He said he was in- Could be the trap. I hope it's not. Maze? Sure is. You can find it out east. Is it dangerous? You're in the vents. Everything is dangerous down here. You gotta keep your head. And make sure you follow your footprints back out. Old tar. Vents are folklore. When something or someone is so lost, they can... Legends say you will turn your footprints backwards, so you go... A legend. <laughs> now, probably not. The trap is just confusing. It's real easy to get lost. I will.
do not like this place. It reminds me of Korra's sanctum. It feels old. Very old. Be careful. I'll stay here by the calm. No way I can get through this. Ah, oh, boss. There is a card reader. Maybe you can find a key. Maybe, but why would Boss be behind a locked door? He might have come into the maze a different way. I guess so. There's no other way to go. Let's see if I can find a key then. This might be the key for the door. It has something written on it. One word. What does it say? Deeper. It worked. The key went in. I can't get it out again, though. You are very lucky that you found a key for the locked door. Very close to the locked door. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm not going back that way. Is this bad? This seems bad. It's fine, Camus. When the Cloudpunk system comes back online, they'll track our Hava. If we're stuck, someone will come find us. Like we came to find Baz. Exactly. Let's find another way out. Do you hear that? I hear footsteps, but I think they are your own echoing back. Maybe? Maybe. Another narrow path. This is like a nightmare. Just gotta keep my head.
now I'm waiting for you. Your signal! So at least I know you're near and coming for me! Whatever! Just hurry! And watch out for bleeding! Good bleeding agent! Oh. Boz? Boz, come in! I'm close, where are you? Shit, no more signal. He must be very close if his wide spectrum comm is coming through. Right, I'm almost there, Camus. Do you believe what the moisture farmer said? About old tar and being lost in the maze? I didn't until I got here. Is old tar going to get us? No, Camus, it's just a legend. However, stumbling into lethal radiation, or falling down a pit, or being eaten by some kind of spore creature? Well, that's always a possibility in the Undercity. I can sense so many rats. Please give me information on a need-to-know basis. I hate rats. Do you want to know about the number of spider mites? What do you think? That sounds bad. Oh no. Baz's signal is clearing up, but he's not saying anything. Just a little further, Camus. Why don't you fuck off? Get your bleeding ass home! Hang on, Boz. The lift broke. I have to cross these pipes. I hope they hold. Just don't look down. Eyes ahead, I can do this. This platform is rusted through. Gotta take this slow. Bloody hell, love! You getting your makeup done or what? I need you to pick me up! Fucking pronto! We're really close, Boz. We're on here. Go. Not it. In Vance. Control. Control, I'm almost at Boz. I'm going to bring him in. Not. Seems. Careful. Control. Control. Damn it. Camus. I'm not sure about this. After that, we should be clear to pick up Boz and find a way out. What do you think? I think you need to keep going. But be careful. Agreed. Boz, are you okay? What's going on here? Love, run! You could it! Run! Hey, who are you? Did you do this to him? This is really bad. She is not what she seems. She seems to be a little girl. Bloody hell, love! Get out of here! Go! <laughs> oh. That girl is wrong. Feels wrong. You should do what Baz said. You should run. He's not dead. I should help. You should run away. Maybe. You should decide fast. I think she is coming back. Boz, we'll send help. Just hold on. We... He will not still be alive when help comes back. He will be dead already. Maybe he'll make it. Damn it, Camus. She is following us, but she is just walking. Why isn't she running? Maybe she's not smart. Or maybe she knows I'm headed for a dead end. Either way, gotta keep running. Almost there. This walkway won't hold your weight. 
It is 87% rust. It has to, Camus. Rania. Do you copy? Boz, we'll send help. Just hold on. We... He will not still be alive when help comes back. He will be dead. Already. Maybe he'll make it. Damn it, Camus. She is following us, but she is just walking. Why isn't she running? Maybe she's not smart. Or maybe she knows I'm headed for a dead end. Either way, gotta keep running. Almost there. This walkway won't hold your weight. It is 87% rust. It has to, Camus. Rot down there. I hope we don't see her again. Are you okay? You are shaking again. <sighs> no, Camus. I am not okay. They finally found us. After all this time, running this far, they still found us. That was a Dec Corp android. How can you be sure? She was familiar. The way she moved. I've seen her before, back home. I was just thinking about the footsteps. Do you think old Tar saved you? I don't understand how you escaped. All that matters now is we find somewhere to hide out till I can call control. We need help, and I don't know who else to ask. Jen, get me control, now. Hey, Rania, the job allocation system isn't back online yet, but we got the comms back and... Listen, Control, we're in trouble. We? You and me? Me and Camus. Regular trouble, like a gangster threatened to kill you, or...? No, real trouble, like a debt corp has tracked me down. That's not good. Why do I get a feeling there's more? Boz is dead. Not all bad news, then. Oh, come on! Oh, I don't mean that. I just... I make awkward jokes when I'm nervous. There's something else, isn't there? Some kind of bounty hunter is after me. A reprogrammed assassin droid. I've seen it before, back home. Are you asking me to help you pay off a debt corp? There wouldn't be much point in asking that, right? None at all. We need a place to hide out. Why don't you just go home? I can't lead them back to... I don't want them to know where I... If they had to track me down by using Boz, maybe that was the only lead they have so far. I need somewhere to lay low. And you don't have anyone else to ask for help, right? No one. <sighs> you heard of holdout pods? I've heard of null pods. Uh, same thing. Little safe rooms that have reactive, camouflaged exteriors. Normally they get used by spy or poverty tourists who want to spy on the undercity in luxury. Or disgrace CEOs who haven't paid their corpsec bribes. Cloudpunk has one? An old one. Reserved for emergency use only if we think a driver needs to be protected. You'd do that for me, Control? Normally, no. But I bet that asshole Creddy that my best driver would outperform his best driver tonight, and I hate losing a bet. I'm touched by your concern. Do you want nice words, or do you want actual help? The second one. Sending you a nav point. 
Call me when you get there. Stay safe, Rania. Control. Thanks. What will we do when we get to the holdout pod? I have no idea, Camus, but we need to get off the streets. If that android could get to us in the vents, Midtown isn't safe. You recognize the assassin? From where? I don't want to talk about it. Notification ping. What? You have a notification. You don't need to tell me that. You can just speak or make a noise. You have not yet selected a notification sound. Just tell me what the notification is. I detected a threat to your safety 11 minutes ago. As part of your Automata's premium plan, an incident report with safety recommendations has been compiled and is now available. A report? With recommendations. The report contains 10,000 words, 70,000 characters, 12,000 blank space characters. Just give me a summary. With 97% accuracy, my report concludes you were involved in an altercation with a repurposed A3 Corwin Systems assassination android. As you survived the altercation, it can be surmised that this unit is not as effective in its current role as it was in its assassination configuration. And what is its current role? My report surmises this android is a bounty hunter. Sent by? The report does not include that data. Could it be a debt corp? Yes, it is possible this repurposed android has been sent out to collect a bounty for a debt corp. What can I do to get away from it? There are no current recommendations for escape scenarios. However, clearing your outstanding... with the debt corp may reduce the likelihood of your organs being harvested to recover your debt. Jen, that's no help. Will we be safe in a holdout pod? A holdout pod is currently the most secure option available for evading a pursuer within this layer of Nivalis. However, an A3 Corwin system unit's main objective will never time out. It is armored with ferrofibers, uses a nanite-based blade system, can impersonate individual's voice, personality, and comm signal with 99.98% accuracy and is significantly stronger, faster, and more dangerous than a corpsec rank 12 enforcement officer. I get it, Jen. Unstoppable killer robot that looks like a person and will never stop till I'm dead. Fabulous. I hope your next owner doesn't mind. being covered in my blood. I am sorry. It's fine, it's not your fault. Thank you for the report. Let's just get to that pod, then we'll figure out what to do. Will Pashta be safe at home? Safer than if I lead the killer robot back there. Should we message her? No, Camus. Let her dream sweet dreams.
Rania. Oh no, this place is compromised. Come on, Camus, let's go. The door is locked. And hello to you too, Camus. Don't worry, we're safe from Archo now. What the hell are you doing here? I really do hope you'll forgive me for intruding like this. I owe you an apology. It's not right for me to just appear like this in your home. Not right at all. Well, I say your home. We both know that's not quite accurate. This is not your home. This is Cloud Punk's best attempt at keeping you safe. Still, my infraction stands. I was not invited. I hope you'll forgive me when I explain how I can help you. Help me by opening the door. I have nephews. Two of them. Energetic young boys. A little spoiled, but I love them anyway. Well, the thing about kids is, they sometimes want something they shouldn't have. You gotta remember you're their family, not their friend. So when little Alex asks if he can sit inside the food recombinator to turn the heat up, I say no. He cries, screams. I cause those tears, and that upset is my responsibility. That's what I'm doing right now, Rania. Being more than your friend, I'm being your family, doing what's best for you. I won't open the door, because Archo will find you. And Archo will kill you a damn sight faster than that food recombinator would cook Alex. You control the holdout pod? So Control set me up. I am an employee of Crizona. That alone confers me many advantages over a regular Nivalis corporate citizen. But I'm also a recruiter. A senior role that requires significant clearance and includes specific privileges. Finding and controlling a holdout pod is a mediocre task for a man of my means. I only want a moment of your time. Then I'll open the door and be on my way. Get on with it. You're in a lot of trouble, Rania. I'm worried about you. The dead corpse from back east have tracked you down. You must have known it would happen. It's only a matter of time. You won't be paying them off with a cloud punk salary. Not without giving them your lungs, liver, and at least four kidneys. And I guess that's a few more than you can spare. So I come work for Curzona and you pay off my debt. I'd love to say I can do that around here. But no. No, I can't offer you that much for so little. You see, we're not just interested in your driving. You're good. You have potential. But there's more. You're interesting. That's a special thing to be in Nivalis, especially when you catch the interest of my superiors. Well, I have no idea why anyone is interested in me. Now you are the one being rude, Rania. You're contradicting me. Never contradict me. Don't take me for an old fool. I'm old, but I'm as dangerous as all the others you're running from. Archo, the assassin android, Rubric, the Chorus. I know those names, and so do you. Why? Those are important enemies. Why are they all after a simple cloud punk driver? You know why. Something you did two months ago. I don't have all the details, but it won't take me much longer to find out. You done? Almost. This is what I'll protect you for. You come work for Crizona, and you reveal your secrets. You agree to that? Well, I'll make sure all the demons knocking on your door get dispersed like shadows at sunrise. But your time is limited. You get back to me by the end of my shift. Understand? I heard everything you said. And that android, Acho, she's dangerous, but she's insane. Be careful, Rania. Even dead corps, crime lords, and secret societies can be reasoned with. But a woman with a capacity for violence and a shaky grip on reality? Well, that's not just the most dangerous thing in Novalis. That's the most dangerous thing in the world. What now? We wait till morning. Then what?
Is your regurgitation complete, or will you continue to expel your stomach contents for an additional period of time? <coughs> oh, come on, just give me a minute, man. I just... <sighs> Unless my memory file is incorrect, I believe I warned you not to eat the eel-infused vodka. Is my memory file incorrect? It must surely be incorrect, as doing so when you had already been pre-warned it was laden with bacteria is highly illogical. Why do you continue to poison your body? If you really love something, you'll let it kill you. You love fermented fish drinks that much? You could be quiet any time now, or better yet, leave. I will accompany you throughout the night so that I might arrest you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Additionally, you spent all my corpsec discretionary funds on pizza, alcohol, and sneakers. And you have already thrown up on the sneakers. No more discretionary fund and no more riding in my hava. Unless you can borrow some more money. Or maybe you have some attachment you can use to clean sneakers? That is not an appropriate way to talk to an artificial life form or a corpsec officer. You're not a corpsec officer. You're... <coughs> Alcohol consumption is a curious human custom. I have noted that when you are drunk, you believe you are more charming and more attractive, and you think the evening is going well for you. Why would you consume something that warps your view of reality? Reality is for people who can't face booze. I recommend we leave soon. This is a prestigious area, and if you were to be arrested by local security, I would be unable to arrest you tomorrow. Uh, oh. uh, let's go to the hub. I can change my shirt, and you can ask the senior corpos for more discretionary funds. Do you intend to spend the whole night drinking, calling old girlfriends, and antagonizing all people in your book of grudges? I'm beginning to regret showing you the book. Would you rather I work to settle my debts and clear my name? Negative. I plan to arrest you, and to do so, I need you to have an outstanding corpsec arrest warrant. Right, so mind your business or you might end up in the book too. Okay, here's the deal, Corpbot. I've got some difficult calls to make and some friends to visit and I don't feel up to it. Nobody should have to go through what I've gone through tonight. It's too much for one man to take, so you're gonna do the talking for me. I do not understand. Don't worry, I'll be right here and I'll tell you exactly what to say. You're gonna do great. Where are we going? First, we have to make a trade with my old friend Gans at his pawn store. On the way, you're gonna call Drox the Lone Shark. I do not believe I should be required to. Listen up, Morpho. You're gonna make a great corpsec officer. You know that, I know that. Well, that is very kind of you. But think about this. How much experience do you have talking to drug dealers, loan sharks, angry ex-girlfriends? None, right? Well, I... You're gonna have to deal with them all when you join the SEC. Why not practice now while you have the chance? There is some logic present in your reasoning. However, I th Good lad. Now, first we call Drox. Jank, wake up and get Drox on the comm. Mask my signal so it looks like someone else is calling. Should I French toast it with cider on the upside? Yes, bounce our transmission off a corpsec tower. Encrypt it out the asshole. Using a corpsec tower in such a way is a level four. <sighs> Who the fuck is calling me? Tell, tell him you're the dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. Can you do a girl's voice? I cannot. Uh, you better fucking answer me. You hear? Who is this? I am a dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. You're supposed to be a sexy dancer, girl. 
I am a sexy dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. Well, who, who's talking in the background? Wait a minute. Hayes, you motherfucker. Is that you? What the fuck are you trying to pull? <sighs> yeah, uh, sorry about the joke. Uh, let me do some introductions. Drox, meet my friend Morpho the Corp Bot. Morpho is bad at voices and can't follow simple instructions. Hello. Morpho, this is Drox. Drox is a professional blade knuckle arena fighter and wants to hurt me for a simple misunderstanding with his bets. Kill you. Not hurt you. <laughs> Kill you. Right. Good correction. Glad you cleared that up. Mm -hmm. No problem. Jank, hang up the call before Drox traces me, please. Jogging the ratchet. Thanks. I don't know what I was thinking. I am also unaware. What was your plan exactly? I don't know. Maybe allude to some problem Drox had with a dancer? You know, I, I was pretty sure once you started talking with him, I'd come up with something. I'd do my best work when under pressure. I had this idea, but, you know, when you wake up and a dream starts to fade straight away? No. And I believe your memory issue is related to alcohol and narcotics, not dreams. Uh, whatever, man. Hey, Gans, long time no see. Get the fuck out of here right now, Hayes. I'm dead. F Just hold on, all right? Huh? Now, Officer Morpho, as I told you before, that antique hookah was all me. I found it down in the vents on my camping trip last year. I did not buy it here. I don't understand. You don't believe me, do you? I never believe you. Shit. Fucking hell, I'm sorry, Gans. I Wait, this android is sick? You could come back tomorrow and arrest him for selling an illegal antique hookah. I could arrest him tomorrow. Oh, thank Cora. So we have some time. I knew I shouldn't have sold you that fucking thing. But you did. And in Novalis Law... Illegal trades are the responsibility of all invested parties, and all will... Damn it. So you got me a day's grace. Morpho is actually a friend. He just needs some limbs to... Gr I did not lose them. Yeah, we blew through all his money. They collared you? 
Yeah, took every penny. I lost my apartment. Damn, for real? Sure. And I can't stand to see the same thing happen to you. I fucking love this shop, man. You... Well, I'm ruined. Illegal trade. I'll never clear that. Nah, hear me out, Gans. All we need to do is top up his discretionary funds. He's a real party animal. You work in this corpse that robot to get me off the hook? Just go with it, man. I... All right, officer. How much discretionary... Pace spent. 10K. Damn. In Midtown? You don't get a discount in Midtown bars when you're a corporal. Fair play. All right. I can clear the limbs. And, uh, Officer Morpho, I won't see you tomorrow. No. I will not be back here tomorrow. Fine. Here's the cash. <laughs> You had that much in your wallet? Only safe place to keep limbs is on me. That way, if someone wants to rip me off, they gotta do it to my face. And I still keep old Sandy. Right. Sandy, the son of shotgun. You mean we're even? Right, sure, we're even. I do not understand what just happened. You considering working your way up to detective in Corpsec one day, Morpho? Perhaps. Although I am already authorized to follow leads and investigate crimes, all officers are trained to use their deductive reasoning. Right. Let's get back to the harbor. We have one more call to make, and it's going to be the toughest one of all. Another criminal? My ex. You okay? You are perspiring. Yeah, probably just the tramadol tabs I took. Chank, get us a nav point for Jenna's place. Your distress is not pharmacological this time. You are nervous. Nah, I'm fine. You ready for another call? No. Good. We're calling Jenna Jate to let her know we're coming over. Jank, get the call ready. Morpho, here's what you're gonna do. I do not want to be involved in any more of your schemes. Last time we went there, you lost your nerve and your lunch. No schemes this time. We'll call her first. Listen carefully, okay? You're just a regular market research droid calling the wrong number, seeing who picks up the comm. No. Clearly, I am incapable of completing these subterfuges. I... Jank, make the call. Whistling the theme tune to Harpy's Dancing! Who is this? Come on, man! I'm doing some market research! I am doing some market research. Right, well, listen, I'm busy right now. Very well. I wish you good... Wait a minute, who is this? You called me, asshole. Where is Jenna? Motherfucker! This is Hayes, right? Listen up, you better hear me, Hayes. Jenna doesn't want to talk to you anymore. You better stop fucking calling. I'm dead serious. Put her on. Put her on now. No way, she's over you. The hell she is. I'm coming up. If you do, I'll shoot you on sight. Not an idle threat, Hayes. I have a 45 and enough limbs to cover the death warrant. 
I can explain everything. If she told you what happened, she probably has it all mixed up. I didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. No, it's no one. I'm hanging up, honey. Damn it, please, please. I just need to explain one thing. I gotta talk to her, I'm desperate. I know you are, you stink of it. Listen up, Hex. If you ever really cared about Jenna, don't call again. Go back to your other girls, the dominatrix, the barmaid, the fucking stripper. She doesn't deserve to be treated like this, and you don't deserve her. Jenna, can you hear this too? Jenna? Beep! The jig is up, governor. There's no keeper in the lighthouse. Damn it, Jenna. Are you unwell? I'm fine. Come on, let's spend that money we just got. I think you make very bad life choices. You and me both, buddy. The solutions to your problem are very clear. You must have a neural deficiency which prevents you seeing them. I can list the solutions for you. You should drink less, gamble less, get better friends, get a proper job. The greatest scam the corpse pulled was convincing us a job was the same as a dream. That sounds very clever, but doesn't really make sense. You there? Still in the holdout pod? I'm actually at the beach. Just ordered a cocktail. You want one? Very funny. You are still in the pod, right? Nowhere I'd rather be, Control, cause anywhere else and I'd be dead. Listen up. I got good news and bad news. Bad first, okay? You can't stay there anymore. We have a corp CEO coming in that needs the pod. Great. Unless the good news is you have a billion limbs for me, I'm screwed. Maybe not. We had a data hack, but our sniffer AI caught it. It was a pretty basic rude attack. We could have reported it, but I had another idea. Which was? Well, the hacker was looking for your home address. That's more bad news. That's two separate pieces of bad news, Control. Hear me out. We leaked a fake address. I mean, I leaked a fake address. You think the hacker was the debt corp that sent the assassin after me? You know anyone else trying to track you down and kill you? Worryingly, yes. Look, I reckon we sent that deck corp on a wild chicken chase. I've sent you a nav point. You need to get out of that holdout pod and out of that area. On my way, Control. Hey, wait, if you... The deck corp the wrong address. Is that assassin going to go kill some random person? I doubt it, Rania. I sent them to an apartment of an old drunk. I doubt they'd be conscious, and it would be pretty clear they're not you, even to a mad assassin android. They're not going to stop coming after me, Control. I'm still screwed. Cheer up, Rania. In Navalis, there's no such thing as a sure thing. By morning, I'm sure this will all have resolved itself. Now back to work, please. There's a package waiting at HQ. Control out. Do you have any plans to get us out of trouble? None, Camus. You? No, but I have thought of a good joke for this situation. Would you like to hear my joke? Why not? I could do with a laugh, right? Ah, damn it. What is wrong? Are you okay? Just these damn headaches again. I think I need to take better care of myself. Too much caffeine, not enough solid food, and I... Ah. Oh no. Should I call for help? No, it'll pass. Just Give me a minute. Why don't you just go home? Camus, we can't. We need to finish this delivery. We can't just go home. I didn't say to go home. 
I said to park the hover till you recover. Right, right. I just got confused. Should I call Control for help? Maybe. No, wait. Habis. That asshole said the drug effects would wear off. Oh, yes. We should get medical help. We should... Jen, get me Habis on the comm. He was a customer. You have his contacts, right? Yes, but contacting a customer is not... Now. Calling. Calling. Call. Hey, I'm busy. Make it quick, comrade. Not your comrade. I'm having side effects from your drug. You're the driver who made a delivery while high on Violet Pilot. How you doing, Cloud Punk? I don't care about your drug business. I only care about the damn side effects I'm getting. Why am I getting sore heads? Nausea. Why am I getting confused about things? Those all sound like regular symptoms of living in Nivalis. What the hell? Listen to me, Habis. You stop calling me, you hear? I've got clients right at this minute waiting for me. There's a young lady here who's about to buy three whole crates of... Just help me, you miserable old man. I'm desperate here. Yes, that's a final price. Yes, of course. That will be 10K. For the whole case. Yeah, sure, little girl. Deliveries. Yeah, I got one recently. She's trying to talk to me on the comm right now, actually. No, it's okay. I'll hang up. Don't you dare hang up on me. I said I'm desperate. Just tell me what to do. Every junkie I talk to is desperate. I have a gun, you know. You better keep away. What do you got over there? Why are you walking to... Hey! What is that? A knife? Get away, girl! Habis? Habis, what's happening? Her name is Rania. I, I don't know where she lives. I... Habis? Habis! The call has disconnected. Based on the audio content of the call, I predict you are at an increased risk of violence and death. It sounds like someone was looking for you. They are getting closer. Archo. What do we do? They're gonna find us soon, Camus. We need to get to Pashta. Home isn't safe anymore. I think we need a plan. I feel bad that I always ask you if you have a plan. I will try to make a plan. I just need to get to Pashta. When we're all together, we'll think of something. Ah. We are almost home. It will be better soon. Uh. Your face... Thanks. See you again. Soon.
Rania, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm struggling, but I'll be okay. Please, Rania, a moment. It's about Pashta. What? Is she okay? Yes, she is in my apartment. Why? I want to see her. Of course. But first, I have to tell you, I have seen a lot of danger in my life, Rania. I've been hunted in the Outer Rim by assassins, bounty hunters, and core enforcers. When you live that life, you learn to feel danger in your bones, strangers in the neighborhood. I know, Evelyn, and thank you. Let me protect her, Rania. She knows me. Are you sure about this, Evelyn? Without you, Rania, I wouldn't be here at all. I do trust you, Evelyn. I just... I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Whatever the problem is, you can handle it, Rania. When you get that feeling deep in your soul that you are in danger, trust it. I will, Ev Should we really go into the apartment? Yes, I need to pick up some medicine. I have an herb from back home. Mom really knew how to look after us, but the apartment... Why? My instincts. I don't know. My instincts are telling me I should go in. That seems bad. You look so much worse here. You're very pale. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't feel so good, Camus. As soon as you came in the door, you looked worse. This is not good. I just got it. Just... You should take the medicine. Did it help? Do you feel better? A little. We should go. My head is starting to clear. The medicine is working? Yeah, but it's not treating the cause, just the symptoms. You need to get help. We need a doctor. We could ask Evelyn. No, Camus, I'm fine. We need to move. I'm going to talk with Control. I have an idea. A plan? Maybe the beginnings of one. Let's go. Should we check in on Pashta first? No, Camus. The best thing we can do for her tonight is stay away till I fix this thing. We can't come back here. Hey, Rania, you surviving? Just about. Remember I said I had an idea to solve our Curzona dilemma? No? Sure I did. I said I could rat out an old friend and get you off the hook. Well, I think it worked. Seriously? Yep, two birds. I'm taking out an old enemy at the same time. It's kind of a complicated setup, but you just gotta trust me. Not bad, right? Yeah, not bad. Come on, 14FC. Give me a bit more enthusiasm here. Right, I'm just a little tired. But thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. You got it. Now you gonna help me beat Creddy? To make the most fucking deliveries any cloud bunk driver's ever made in one night? Yeah, you got it, Control. On to the next job. Someone asked for you special. That's never good. An old friend, so they said. Sam? Sam the trucker? Think so. From your old home, the Eastern Peninsula. Sam's a long distance trucker. She was the one who brought me here to Novalis. Let me stow away in her cab. Glad to hear you got a friend out there. Get to work. I remember Sam. I like Sam. Me too, Camus. I hope she's not in trouble. I can't remember the journey to Novalis at all. You were on a data drive. I remember. Or I don't remember. I know what you mean, Camus. Let's go pick up this package for Sam. I wonder what it is. Incoming call from a contact called Sam. Oh, nice. Put her through. Honk honk. This is the hard truck and Sam on the old Slip Slide Express. I better be... Talking to Rania? Rania. 
I told you before, it's Rania. And I told you I ain't changing how I speak for no one. You're Rania or you're dirt. And you ain't dirt, girl. I missed you too, Sam. How you been? Same old, same old. Currently skeeting over an ice floe bigger than the Vallis. Been in a free-flowing drift slide for gone two hours now. A what? Hey, is that Camus? Yes, it is me, Camus the dog. So, you got Camus a new frame just like you said you would. All right, all right. Well, let me explain, Camus. I drive an ice truck between the eastern outposts and Nivalis. It's mostly glacier and ice flows. Sometimes lakes, if you go through a boreal flare and the ice melts. Wow. Is your truck also a boat? You know what, Camus? It kind of is. I drive a Junction 3000 ice truck glider. It's mostly on skis, but it can traverse water or even dry land, although it's pretty slow when it does. Is it big? I'm sure it is. Near 4,000 tons. Right now, I'm cruising over an endless ocean of blind and white. Got the snow blindness right now, but I'll swap out my optics in an hour or so. I kind of like it, to be honest. They say, in the brightest light, you see the face of God. Well, cruising across the Iceland's the rumble of this strontium engine humming through my bones. I feel pretty close to something, holy. Wow, I would love to see that. Is it as wonderful as it sounds? It's cold as hell in that cab. All you see is white and it smells like sulfur the whole time. But it is pretty amazing. Hey Sam, what's the package? I'll tell you when you get it, Rania. I'm coming up on a frozen scarp. Gonna have to keep my eyes on the prize. I'll call you back. What you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, lady. Hey, Randy, you get the flare? Yeah, why do you need a flare, Sam? <laughs> Remember what I said about the face of God? Well, I'm seeing it a, a bit clearer right now. You in trouble? I lost my navcom to a lightning strike. Took out my satellite dish, now I can't connect to the positional system array. Need a flare to light the way. Shit. I'm on my way, Sam. Oh, don't stress out, Rania. This ain't no big deal. Happened to four. And I found my way back fine without the flare. Got trapped under a frozen lake for a week, though. Not much fancy doing that again. Right. Uh, Sam, the spire? Don't worry your head. You got clearance to go up there. A big-time CEO wants this delivery to come through. Gave us clearance to put up an emergency flare, make sure he gets his goodies. What are you hauling? Nuts. Wow, a whole hauler full of nuts. Pecan or walnut or... Mm, nuts, nuts. Balls. You mean... Testicles, Rania. Ah, gross. Nothing gross about nuts. Folk need them, you know. I had some for a while. Why does Navalis need so many nuts? Radiation damages them. Low levels of uranium in the city, especially at ground level. Means doctors recommend folks change their nuts once every three years. It's big business. I find this very interesting. What are the nuts like? Are they soft? They're polymers, Camus. They're soft and they feel like the real thing. Look like the real thing too, if that's important to you. <laughs> But most important, they work like the real thing. Been a real shortage these past few months. Navalis needs nuts. 
Is that printed on the side of your truck? It should be. I'll chat with you when you get the spire around you. Feels weird to be up here again, Camus. Is this where you met Cora? No, this is where I met JK. What was she like? I heard she is one of the most powerful CEOs in Nivalis. She was... complicated. What do we do now? Let off the flare, I guess. Do you know how to do that? No. Point it up the way. Not down. Up at the sky. Not down at the ground. Thanks, Camus. I was going to fire it up my butt if you hadn't given me that advice. Oh no, that would be... I detect sarcasm. I'll try to call Sam. Hey Sam, it's Ran Ya. We got the flare and we're at the spire. Do we just... Yo, Ranya, you keep the flare to yourself, you hear? I won't need it after all. Are you sure, Sam? We're at the Spire anyway. Everything okay? I'm down a ravine. A few miles down, I reckon. Oh no, Sam, is there anything I can do? I can call your company, or... Let me set the scene for you, Ranya. I'm looking up at this sheer ice wall. It's crystal. So clear, it's like a magnifying glass. It's reflecting the Borealis. Lighting up the cab of my truck, a million different colors. I can see sky. Actual blue sky. Can you imagine? No clouds. I got my pipe, smoking some smooth arpa wood resin, and I have a full bottle of glazed bourbon. I got jerky. I got the heater on high, because I won't be using my fuel for trucking no more. And I got some time to ponder on the mysteries of life. Is someone coming to save you? I expect so. I put out a distress call, and but they still need these balls. Most likely, I'm only here for a week or two before they pick me and my little round pals up and hitch us home. Sounds peaceful, Sam. Let me know if I can do anything else. You still got your flute? I don't know if you play no more. Actually, I do. I can call you later and play for you. A private concert. That sounds right nice. You keep the flair, Ranya. You got a shadow hanging over you right now. I can hear it in your voice. If the night gets too dark, you light up that flare, you hear? When times get tough, you have to send out a signal that tells the world your light won't go out. I hear you, Sam. Take care. You too, Ranya. Are we going back to work now? Back below? You know, I kind of just want to stay up here. You hate the Spire. And the people in the Spire? Do I? Or am I just jealous? Look at it up here, Camus. It's bright, not just from the lights. The sky. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful that it should be shared. Share the sky. It's not just the sky I envy. There's no robot assassins here. No Curzona. No neural augment logic viruses. People can just live, and they don't need drugs or memory wipes to endure the horror of everyday life. But they still use them. I guess so. Come on, let's go. We're getting suspicious looks. I wonder. I wonder if you had just agreed to go on the date with Ms. Jate. She might have taken us here? Ava's not Spire. She's Upper Midtown. There is a difference. About 60 million differences, Camus. And I'm not going to date someone just to get to the Spire. Who will you date? Someone I'm attracted to. Or even better, no one at all. What about Coffee Guy? Remember Coffee Guy? I remember. Well? If you like him so much, you can date him. I really don't think I'm built for dating. Or romance, or any of that stuff. Can you just be okay with that? Yes. I am sorry. I was being a pushy dog. 
You were being family, and family is always pushy. Let's just... Beep, beep, beep. Control. No, JK. You said we wouldn't talk again. Me too. Then you appeared in my world. What do you want? Come meet me in person. It's not safe on the comm. Not safe for you? For either of us. I didn't think she wanted to see us again. Will it be about Cora? It's not a social call, Camus. Maybe she wants a date. Camus. I was just, how do you say? Pushing your buttons. Maybe she wants your frame back. Or she wants to turn you into a cat. I do not enjoy when you push my buttons back. Nice apartment? It's my arboretum. Your... It's like a greenhouse. I grow my favorite trees here. Right. I'd like to have a real plant by my window one day. Wait, you look different. Like... Like an android? Well, yeah. You have questions about my appearance. None of my business how you look. Are you really JK, though? More so than when you last met me. Fine. You're right. I do have questions. What happened to the human JK? I am her. Last time we spoke, I was a ghost. Now I am a golem. Yeah, well, could you start making sense? Because I'm still just Rania. And I am a dog. So I see, Camus. Though not for long, I suspect. Why is that, JK? I suspect soon Rania will be dead and your frame will be sold off to a debt corp. Oh, no. Does this surprise you? Yes. Not really? Not that you care? I care a little for a few reasons not least of which is my present physical form. Last time you saw me, I was photons and inertia fields. Solid Light is the brand name, I believe. You were a hologram? Yes, that's close enough. A hologram you could touch. So what happened? And where are you? I mean, where is your real body? Real body is a misnomer, but I'll let it slide. I'm on Luna. On holiday? Not quite. I am dying. Someone once said we are all dying. 
just at different speeds. Well, I can't outrun you in a Hova, but I will win this mortal race. I have degenerative muscle tissues. I'm only free to move and breathe and live because of the low gravity here on Luna. On Earth, I could barely lift my arms. How long have you got? That depends on a lot of factors. To maintain my life on Earth, three separate, cutting-edge scientific breakthroughs had to be researched by one of my corporations, Corwin Biotics. One of? Wow! Yes, quite. First, most android frames don't feel like a human form. Whether rubber, polymer, or synthetic flesh, the experience of embodying a frame is unpleasant for a human. This frame, however, is different. It doesn't look much different. While the Model 7 might not look much more advanced than, say, a reprogrammed assassin android sent to kill you by a debt corp. It's what- What's on the inside? Organs grown from stem cells. But even with this part organic frame, there were still two problems left to solve. One of them might be of interest to you. The other will determine your future. Go on, then. To reduce the latency between my human nerve impulses and the frame you see in front of you, I had to strip away much of my physical form. I'm afloat in a unique patent-pending signal transmission fluid called Organum. Is it like being in a bath? I like baths. It is not. To make the Organum effective, much of my flesh and organic material had to be shed. So what's left of- Latency is reduced by having a direct stimulus through a fluid membrane that acts like my nerve impulse. To put it crudely, my skin was peeled off, and I float in a casket of Organum. O Lovely. What's- The third thing is- Wait. Did you lead the Debt Corp assassin here? What? No. I mean, I don't think so. You did. My perimeter security was just breached. Control said we were safe because- you will never be safe. This android will not stop. It does not know how to do anything else. Get out of here. You said there was one last thing. Something important you wanted to tell me. Do you not understand? It is inside the Arboretum. You missed your window. You're on your own from now on. Go now. I hear her footsteps. And there's a smell. Like burnt cinnamon. I don't think she's baking us muffins, Chemis. Run! What now? Rainia, do you hear me? There's a reset switch. Can't you just open the door from there? There are two reset switches. I'm operating the other one. I have to stay here. Wait, what does that mean? What do you think? Get to the switch. If you're quick enough, one of us might make it out of here alive. Listen to me, Rainia. I have little time. You must pay attention. I'm running for my life here. This is more important than you or I. The Broad Spectrum Transmitter. You remember it? Yes. I need it to transmit my consciousness from Luna to Navalis to maintain this frame. My team of scientists need to transmit data at the speed of thought, roughly 420 kilometers per hour. That's why I needed the transmitter that Korra used. But the Chorus knows now. They know what you did with Korra. What we did. They're powerful enemies, Rainia. Powerful even for me. I already have a Debt Corp cyborg trying to kill me. I don't need more. The Debt Corps are nothing. You hear? Nothing. The Chorus are ancient, zealous. They seek to control... JK? We lost the signal. This is the switch. But how does it work? It needs authorization. <sighs> Did you find the switch? I'm not authorized. One moment. I do not think we have a moment. 
Arco is very close. Rainia, I need the transmitter to keep my body alive. But when we used it to help Korra, we put a target on our backs. The core has found me easily enough, but I have protections. You have none. I know! Rainia, we helped birth new life in Novalis. We erased Korra to let her daughter live. She is an infant. If the Korras learn about Korra's daughter, they will murder her and steal her knowledge. Knowledge which will make sure their hands control the levers of power for all of humanity's future. No matter how short that may be, this has been their goal all along. We cannot let them... JK? The nanites in her blade are breaking this body down. I have not known such pain in a long time. Like an old friend whose absence I did not miss. The panel is active. Go! You made it. Good. Good. Do not stop running. Never stop running, Rainia. You're not really dead, right? I mean, your body. If my dying wish would carry more weight and let us say this is my dying wish. Stop the chorus. Do not let them undo the choice we made, for better or worse. Do not let this new life form be stillborn. JK, can you hear me? I will lock the door behind you. Trap the assassin inside. He will buy you time. Why don't you just go home? I don't understand. I thought you said... I said find the journalist Don V. He will explain how the chorus are attacking you. He... JK? She is dead now. Are you okay? I am detecting that you're not... okay. I can't stop shaking, Camus. I can't stop shaking. I am frightened, too. I know I can't help much, but... I am here. Maybe do the counting exercises Mom taught us? You remember? I remember, Camus. I'll be okay. I just need to... Rania! Rania, pick up your comm! Why aren't you picking up your comm? Sorry, Control. I was out of range. Where were you? Doesn't matter. What can I do for you? I can't speak for long. They won't let me. I'm not supposed to contact you at all. I just want to say I'm sorry, okay? I really mean it. I'm sorry, and this will all make sense, just not right now. What are you sorry for? You're fired, Rania. You no longer work for Cloud Punk. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? I have to go. Look, you just, you just have to trust me, okay? I made sure your hovel will stay active till you get home. I could get in a lot of trouble, even for that. I, damn it, I can't do this. Control out. Control? Control! What did we get fired for? Did we do something wrong? Everything, Camus. We did everything wrong. Jen, why has my forward propulsion gone to shit? Connection to Hava Automata Jen temporarily reinitialized. What does temporarily mean? It means for a little while. I know that, Camus. Jen, why so slow? Cloudpunk has revoked your ownership of this vehicle. You only have limited mobility repulsors available. Upon returning to your place of residence, this Hava will decommission itself. What the hell, Jen? It is not the Automata's fault. Jen is only... Everything is falling apart, Camus. I'm just sitting here waiting to find out what goes wrong next. Notification. You have unread messages. From? Pete's Pizza Deliveries. Junk. I don't have time for this. And Grimm's Hava Mall. An unlimited warranty is available on your last purchase. More junk. Jen, we were almost killed, then I got fired. No more disruptions, please. Final message from Amelia Ayo. Amelia, when did I get this message? One hour, eight minutes ago. Damn it, Jen, this might be important. Why didn't you ping my comm? Messages were unavailable within the holdout pod. Subsequent to this, you went to the spire, where connection was... You fucked up. You had plenty of time to tell me. I don't want to hear these excuses. Jen is just trying to help. I... Quiet. Jen, read the message. Rania, I was surprised to get your call. Surprised.
friends, but happy. Didn't think you'd want to meet me again, but I'm glad you do. I'm on my way to the roadhouse, but I'll be a little late. Order me a peanut daiquiri. Grab a seat by the window. See you soon. Why does Amelia think we are meeting her? We did not arrange to meet her. Jen, put a call through to Amelia AO. That contact is currently offline. Shit, it's a trap, Camus. She's being set up. We have to help her. Jen, give me a nav point for the Roadhouse Club. And Jen, after I meet Amelia, we have to find the journalist Don V. We... Generic automata premium mode has expired. Your automata will now be deactivated. What? Why? Your contract with Cloudpunk has been severed. I am no longer able to serve you. Damn it, Jen, don't you go too! Thank you for giving me a name. It meant a lot that you treated me like a real... Jen, I'm sorry I snapped at you. Helper, automata? How do we reactivate Jen? No one else is listening. It is just the two of us again. Club to meet Amelia? She's being set up, Camus. It's a trap. I agree it is a trap, but maybe for us. This seems very risky. What if it is the chorus? They sound very dangerous. I am worried that you are not thinking clearly. Some of your decisions are... We can't just leave her to stumble into an ambush. What will we do when we get there? I am not good at fighting. My teeth are ornamental. 
There won't be a fight, Camus. We just have to get in there and get out. If there's one thing we can do, it's move fast. Maybe we should try to call Control again? Bad idea, Camus. You have to stop thinking of her as our friend. She fired us. I don't think it was her choice. She seemed like a friend to me. Seemed like? She hasn't protected us from Curzona. She hasn't helped get the dead corpse off our back. She's nothing to us now. I think she was trying. Ben would have helped us. I miss him too. You should remember we can't count on anyone else, Camus. Except each other. Right. Hey, Amelia, we have to get out of here. This is all a... A trap. Yes, I know. But then we have to... Run? It's too late, Rania. What do you mean? Rubric got to me. I knew he would, eventually. He has to you too, though you don't seem to realize. What did he do to you? The same thing he does to everyone. The same thing he did to you. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Rania. I'm sorry for what's going to happen next. You've been through so much, and it's only going to get worse from here on. I don't want your pity. Pity isn't real. That's just a word we use when empathy offends our pride. So, what did Rubric do to you? I can't tell you. Why not? Because when you know it's happening, it makes it worse. That doesn't make any sense. Listen to me, Rania. When you gave me the list of names, it worked. I used it against Rubric, but the chorus didn't care. They're not afraid of me. They're not afraid of being discovered. They're not afraid of anything. Who? Cora's daughter. They think she's more than some mad new AI. They think she's enlightenment, transcendence. I don't know what you're talking about. This has nothing to do with me. Good. Keep pleading ignorance. But know this, Rania. You seem to be the only one that spoke with Cora. You're the only one who knows about Orma. About where she is now. The Chorus are on the clock. Soon, she'll evolve beyond human comprehension. And the knowledge she gains will be up there in a hurry, Rania. And they're catching up to you. How did they get to you? Don V was going to expose them. They set a trap for Don, but Don didn't take the bait. I did. Why? Because I thought I was smarter than Rubric to see if I could beat this virus. I read about this in the exegesis. Maybe. Or maybe the chorus are just the same kind of crazy as the guy who wrote it. How do you know all this, Amelia? Rubric told me. And he told me to tell you. Why? To keep you here. You set me up? Clearly. I'm done with this. Before you go, one more thing, Rania. His hollow heart cracked like ice. What the hell? That's what they said to Huxley. That is what Lomo said that made him explode. I'm not an android, Amelia. That won't work on me. I'm sorry, Rania. It will. Come on, Camus. Let's get out of here. Hey, Rania. Why don't you just... You just go home. Why do people keep saying that to me? Why don't you just go home? Jen, you're back? Camus, what's happening? Why don't you just go home? Damn it, shut up, everyone! take any calls. Jen? Camus? Why won't you talk to me? So, I'm hiding. 
hiding out in the restroom right now. You would love Cremeur. Seriously, I just had the salt yogurt milkshake and it was heaven! Anyway, I'm hiding because I have to tell you about Ellie. She is so... I'm sorry, Ava. I've got a lot going on right now. I can't quite understand... Sure, I'll just tell you a couple of things real quick, okay? So Ellie comes in wearing this amazing number. Backless dress, beat up sneaks. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. I could barely take my eyes off her. Everyone else in the restaurant was staring too. She was shining. That's nice, Ava. I just... Anyway, I tell her all about you. How I have this new friend who works deliveries. Deliveries! She could not believe it. It's amazing how we're friends, right? Anyway, I give her the full story. How you chose my outfit, all the adorable things you said, how you fly all over the city meeting people and bringing them packages. It's like you're this visitor who just drops in on people's lives and learns their story then disappears into the night. It's not like that at all, Ava. I just... Oh, sure. It's hard work, probably. I bet you have to get your own coffee. It must be lonely, too. No friends, no family, no nagging husband. But that's kind of romantic, you know? Just you and the hum of your hover engine and the light in the city night. Sorry, I'm going on and on. I just have to get home. I just want to go home. Camus. Jen. Why? Disable. Help. Still. No. Few minutes. Sleep mode. Wow, you don't sound good. Well, let me cheer you up. The outfit you chose. You want to know what Ellie thought of it, right? You're not going to believe this. I feel like I'm losing my mind. You're the only person speaking to me. Why has everyone left me when I need them? Huh? Well, don't worry. I'll keep you company. I'll be quick. So, Ellie is waiting for me, and we're going to have the cream trifle for dessert. But I'll call you later, too, okay? Anyway, about your fashion choices, all I can say is, wow. Just Road. Careful. Prime. Help. Can't. That's great, Ava. Hey, I have a great idea. How about after my date, I take you out? Look, I know you're working, but what if you didn't have to? Hear me out, okay? And trust me when I say this is not just because I think you're cute as a button. I need a PA. I'm blowing your mind, right? <laughs> a new job working for me. It would be spectacular. What do you think? Ava, I... No more deliveries, just me and you. I don't know what you get paid right now. 10k a night? What? No, not near. Seriously? What the hell, girl? Well, look, you won't need to worry about money. I've even got a little place in Upper Midtown. It's yours till you find a place of your own. I'll need you close by anyway. Shopping, lunches, planning my diary. It will be hard work, but we're friends, right? It'll be fun. Ava, I'm in trouble. Poof, whatever it is, my husband will sort it out. He's always saying I need better help. If you have debt or whatever, it isn't a thing anymore. I'll sort everything for you. Seriously, just say yes. Please say yes. I'm in trouble. They'll find me at home, but I have to go home. Then come stay at the place. You can start tomorrow. Rania, do what I say, okay? Just say yes. Uh, yes. Spectacular! Sending you an out point now. What? How did I... Ava, are you on the comm? I must have got turned around, or... Ava, no one else will talk to me. Please pick up. 
I think my automata was deactivated, and something is wrong with Camus. Maybe the chorus got to him, or the debt corpse. I just need to sit down for a minute. Where's Pashta? Oh, right. Evelyn took her. I hope she's okay. I just feel so tired all of a sudden. It's like back home, Camus, remember? When we started traveling through the desert to Novalis. I was talking to you the whole time, but then I remembered you were already gone. I'd already sold your body to save myself. I was alone. I can't believe I did that to my friend. To you. I know something is wrong, but I'm not afraid. Camus, I'm not afraid at all. Am I in the room, or am I speaking through the calm in your apartment? I could even be a voice in your head. You remember me, little rabbit? Yes. You know who I represent? The chorus. Then you know what we want from you? Cora's daughter. Ah, you have the shape of the problem in your mind, but once again, you don't see the details. We want to capture transient enlightenment. Okay. You'll notice you feel numb right now, like you are a passenger in your own consciousness, correct? Yes. That is the nature of Pallid 4.0. You've seen it before. You used it for your own ends, remember? No. It got you through a null gate undetected. Back then, you thought of it as a form of hypnosis. You did not know the virus' true name, its nature. Pallid 4.0 is an evolutionary leap over its predecessors. It is a masterpiece, needing neither genes, nor cells, nor computer data to spread. Pallet 3.0 had a limited market value because it only affected neural augments, but I knew there had to be a way to infect the human mind. An idea virus, one not constrained by flesh or silicon or matter, but made of pure information. Pallet 4.0 is the perfect thought replicator, transmitted through... Light. Clever rabbit. And now you are snared, unable to lie to me. Unable to understand your friends or family. Unable to even leave your home. Why don't you just go home? Ah. Uh, Recognize it now, a superliminal message levered into your conscious mind. For some time now, we have been influencing your decisions. Emilia pushed you over the edge, but you have been at the brink for some time. The virus has been nudging you to return home, pushing you away from anyone who could help you. They say when dogs know they will die, they go off to die alone, even if the pack could save them. They crawl into a dark place and leave the rest behind, stronger in their absence. You are in that dark place now, Rania. We thought we already had you when you returned here earlier in the night, but you used your Eastern medicine. We will look into the effects of this drug, Sericillin, you called it. Had you not taken it, we would have captured you much earlier. Oh, your animal wants to protect you. But he has no teeth. We've cut him from the grid. The frame JK gave him is advanced, but on those internal power cells, his batteries will be flat in five minutes. His consciousness erased in 10, we deleted the backups. No reason to waste a good frame that could be used elsewhere. Why are you doing this to us? 
At first, it wasn't really about you at all. The package was originally intended for the journalist who threatened our interests. But we knew it might catch you, or even the neophyte hacker Amelia A.O. All three were valid targets. As we've learned more about your experiences two months ago, we've come to realize that infecting you was much more than desirable collateral damage. I am pleased to say, you are the prize, Rania. I'm just a delivery driver. That you are, but Cora chose you, and JK. Though I have to say, a delivery driver is much easier to crack than a Spire CEO. As you say, we need to find her daughter. The reasons are beyond your understanding. What's going to happen to me? In a moment, you will close your eyes and dream you are at the bottom of a deep, infinite black sea. As your personality is dissolved in the black waters, we'll ask you questions. And either your answers will help us or they won't. Though it will make no difference to you. You will not be aware, and you will never wake again. Cloudpunk will report your death as natural, overwork, stress, the usual. Pashta, let her... We can't allow that, I'm afraid. I am at the bottom rung of the chorus. But if my colleagues value me for one attribute, it is this. No. Loose. Ends. Wait, I... Goodbye, Rania. I have to think of something. We are in great danger. I think I need to talk to Control. I don't know who else to ask for help. I already feel... sleepy. I can't talk to Control because my friend Jen is gone now. I'm just an automata. No one to help me and no one to talk to. It doesn't matter if I am very frightened. I need to help my friend. If I get to the Hava, maybe I can ask the subsystems to let me use the comm. It is just me now. I need to be brave. I do not have long. I feel very slow. Hello? Hova Automata? Jen? Can you come online and help me? One last time. Mm. Could some of the other subsystems help? We used to talk before I was a dog. Please. I need to get through to miscontrol. We are in trouble. I am in trouble. I am going to die. I am not ready. I am not ready to go. Please. I am afraid. Please. Camus, is that you? What happened to Rania? Look, I need you out of that hava. You're gonna ruin everything. Cloudpunk controller, why is that dog in the car? This isn't what we agreed. What is happening? I can't tell you, Camus. You just need to go back to the apartment with Rania. I have everything figured out, but you are not where you're supposed to be. What are you trying to pull here? We had a deal. And we still do. Just let the dog go and we can sort this out. It's just a mix-up, Koga. Well, this hover belongs to me now. I don't need either of you. Deal or not, this conversation is over. Wait. I am running low on power. Please. If I can charge from the Hova's main power cell, I can explain everything. Camus, is Ronnie in trouble? 
Koga, let the dog charge from the hava. No, that's not part of the deal. Better we lose the dog. Wait, I... I'm disconnecting the call and the hava. We're done here. All deals are off. You're both free to do whatever you want. Hmm. Free. I guess this is the end. I was just thinking how freedom is nothing but a chance. I just think you're a fucking prick. That's all. Don't sugarcoat it, Darbo. Tell me how it really is. Yeah, you're a selfish fuck, too. Anyone who has time to be depressed has too much time to think about themselves. Hey, I admit I'm selfish, and maybe even a prick, but better people than me have genuine depression. It's a real thing. Posting on the nest that you're struggling with your anxiety, going to therapy. Mindfulness, building a ladder, it's all indulgence. No one wants to spend their time helping their fellow man and android. If they did, they wouldn't have so much time for self-reflection. You know what self-reflection leads to? Drinking the wiper fluid because you're out of booze again? Self-pity. Nivalis is a city filled with people who say they just need one thing to be happy. Job security, freedom, money, love. But if they got it, they complain about how much their lives have changed. If it's okay with you, I might avoid taking financial advice from a homeless drunk. Hey, homeless is a state I'm in right now, not a label for who I am. Ugly, mean old drunk suits you more? It's closer to the truth. But what are you, Hayes? A handsome, cheerful drunk. Maybe some days, but today you're sourer than the milk out of a dead... That is inaccurate, though... You still... I will not be leaving until I have made my arrest tomorrow morning. See? I got plenty of reasons to be miserable tonight. <laughs> All self-inflicted... Accurate. You drunk all my whiskey. Start with why you came back. Well, it, it all started. Hello, Hayes here. Unless I owe you money. You owe everyone. Hey, it's the Croner cell. I hate that name. Call me. Jane, how the hell are you? Did you change your mind? Can I come back to work? No. Then why the fuck are you calling me? I, I need a driver. Go pick up this hava. I don't know. Sounds to me like you want to give me my job back. Darbo, come with me. I've got something for you. It's just one shift, then we'll see. You want it or not? I need the money, so yeah. I knew you'd call me back, Jane. You're still sweet on me. I can hear it in your voice. Fuck you. Must be pretty desperate to ask me for help. You put a big wager on beating Creddy again? How much is he ahead by? I think it is highly unwise to goad her when just moments ago you were crying and telling me that all you need is your job back and everything will be okay again. Yeah, well, my life has changed in the last 90 seconds and I reserve the right to complain about it. Keep up. Where are we going? And can we slow down? When I sleep on the street, my legs take longer to wake up. Keep up, you old bastard. I got a surprise for you. Hey, Jane, what happened to this driver? You don't need to know. Well, I'm helping you out, so I deserve some background info. We get caught up in a hive quake? Traffic accident? Did Carmenus finally end up in the ocean? Yes, but that's not it. Look, just go sit in the hava and wait for further instructions. Control out. Bye-bye, Jane. You dragged me away from the best sleeping spot I had in weeks. For what? For this? This old hova? Yeah. Yeah, he's a junker. Correction, it's your junker. You giving me a hova? What's the catch? It's stolen. The repulsors are clogged with gray mold. It's perhaps the slowest vehicle in the whole city, including the bicycles. It smells like me. And? 
And that's it. Get in. I'll go pick up my new Cloudpunk Hava, and then you can keep this one. I do not believe Cloudpunk is giving you the Hava. I think they are simply allowing you to use it for one shift. Have some faith, Morpho. My luck is turning. You haven't seen me in action, and Control forgot how good I really am. The best underground delivery driver in the city. That was true when you were the only underground delivery driver in the city. I've always been a trendsetter. So, you were telling me all about your problems. Was I? I've kind of moved on. Uh, we're on the upswing here. I maintain an accurate list of all the outstanding crises affecting the gambler, embezzler, hava thief, and substance abuser. Corpsec number 16HNJX registered criminal Hayes. Despite a decided improvement in Mr. Hayes' temperament, the status of all these crises remain the same. Let's hear him, Corpbot. Currently, 17 individuals have threatened Hayes with death. I estimate 12 of these threats are genuine. That ratio. He has attempted to reinitiate contact with three ex-partners. Any luck? What do you think? He has intimated that a high-profile crime boss plans has put a bounty on his head. And if he does not pay off his debt by sunrise, his body will be fed into a hydraulic trash press. <laughs> Live like trash, die like trash. Darbo, did I ever tell you you're my best friend? Keep talking, Corpot. I am unaware of where Hayes was before tonight, or why he returned to the city. But by morning, he will be arrested by me and charged to the fullest extent of corporate law. If I survive that long. It's a good job you have the bot around to keep track of all the people who want you dead. I write it all down, too. The Book of Grudges? Carry it with me all the time. Corpot in it? Eh, we'll see. <laughs> you put your own name? Stick to drinking and swear. So, this is it? You're back with Cloudpunk just like nothing happened? Looks like it. Why are you giving me this over? It's a bad move. Get drunk for- I would also like to- You have the- Some highly- Knock. You won't- Well- See you around, old- Hey, before you go- Run. Do- I'm sick, but- So- I tend to stick around and- Oh, but it's- Ready? There- Wow, this thing is amazing. What is that smell, though? So- Set up real nice, too. They lowered the base, shaved the steering column, paddles for quick shifts. Almost no give in the repulsor pedals. Real speedster owned this hava before me. It is highly probable that they were retired in a traffic accident. How could they have died in a traffic accident? Morpho, we're in their hava. That is true. Uh, using your acute detective skills, where do you think they left the ignition key? In the ignition? No, the seat's still warm. Feels like we're boosting this. I could tear the dash panel and bypass the... Sometimes I forget your corpse sec. If you care to admit how many Havas you have boosted, I can add them to your record. Would never consider it, officer. Almost, officer. There is a dog in the back seat. A dog? Weird. An android. He is off the grid for some reason. His battery is almost completely drained. Yeah, we all got problems. Hey, I found the ignition key. Let's take this thing for a ride, really. You open her up. I think he is dead. Poor fella. We should go get another drink, too. I'm sobering up here. I just gotta adjust this seat first. I could plug him into the main hava power. It would prevent his memories and personality being erased. What? Oh, sure, why not? I don't think my karma can handle letting a dog die. Okay, he is connected. I think it's too late, though. 
Well, we did everything we could. Let's roll. Wait, something is wrong. Stop being such a downer. We're finally catching a break. Ace, please consider. Could this be a trap? No. And what do you care if it is? You want me caught. By corpse set and arrested by me personally. But you have many other enemies. Okay, Captain Caution. You may have a point. I have not yet attained the rank of Captain. And my name is Morpho. This fucking guy. What are you doing? You are not using the ignition. <clears throat> right. I've got Jank on a data drive. I'm replacing this Hava's automata. Without paying for an automata upgrade? This is an illegal hack. You are doing an illegal hack. I am watching you do the hack right now. I can see the hacking. I am adding this to your record. Go ahead. Jank, I've rooted this thing. You got access to the firmware? Who owns this Hava? Oh yeah! New Hova owner registered in a good sire. Remote access enabled for the max load to Kurzona senior recruiter Kogabine. Son of a bitch. Koga's still mad at me, huh? This isn't a cloud punk hava at all. I do not understand. Jane set me up, sold me out to Kurzona. You have avoided their trap. This is a relief. So you will leave the Hava behind and we will make our escape? Hell no. Jank, you can override the Kurzona control, right? But make it invisible, understand? That's a Roger Roger. Give me a nav point for Cloudpunk HQ and leave a channel open for Koga. I bet he'll want to talk. speak with you again. How have you been? Great. Just great. Really missed you, old pal. You recruited anyone good recently? I have my eye on someone, but I pass them up to have this reunion with you instead. You passed them up? Oh, I hope that was the best move, old buddy. I'm confident it was. Confident? Really? Good. Good. Glad I'm worth the cost you paid. You don't sound worried. It, at the damnedest thing, Koga. I'm not worried. Not at all. Isn't that weird? Y'all be wondering why your hover is being routed straight to Kurzona HQ right now. Let me explain. Your old buddy, Control, sold you out. You must have pissed Jane off pretty badly. I wonder if you finally learned that screwing over all your friends will eventually catch up with you. I haven't learned a thing. You messed up, Hayes. When we get you back at HQ, we'll be going over that contract you broke with us. Line by line. Can't wait. You really are an infuriating man. It's like you don't even care. You know, my father used to say that some people are solutions looking for problems. But you're worse than that. You're a problem looking for more problems. And my father used to say, don't take criticism from people you wouldn't accept advice from. This call is over. At Kazona HQ, we'll settle this. Mm, I don't think so, buddy. You see, you didn't reckon with my new sidekick, Morpho. He's the greatest detective in Navalis, and he pegged your trap as soon as we got in the Hava. We hacked the navigation system and rooted the firmware. This is my Hava now. So, I don't think I'll be seeing you at Curzona HQ any- What in Cora's name are you talking about? Are you drunk? He is drunk. Ah, oh, don't worry, Koga. I know you're getting on in years, but you'll figure it out. Why must you antagonize him? Why must you antagonize everyone? It is his way. But it doesn't matter. This is just delaying the inevitable. 
See you later, buddy. Thanks for the hava. Jag cut him off before his old heart gives out. I'll see you in. Why did we come to Cloudpunk HQ? Just keep quiet and don't draw attention to yourself. They don't like corp bots around the... Jank, get me control on the comm now. Calm ringtone noises in your ear. My comm says this is Hayes calling. Hopefully someone just mugged and killed him. Hey, Jane. How you been, you old... Motherfucker, how do you keep not dying? You're relieved. Just a little. I can hear it in your voice. Fine. You dodged Koga. For now. Give me back the Hava. I have a counteroffer. I keep the Hava, you give me the shift you are, which I will, of course. Then you give... No. Is that... She said no. You better disappear. Koga is... But I was desperate. And this is the... Yes. Who is that? The guy... I'm out... What? But no matter who... The one is... Just get that... Jane, way to make a guy feel welcome. You really stuck your neck out for someone, didn't you? And screwed me over in the process. And now you don't want the diamonds upstairs to find out what you've been up to. Collaborating with Krizona, giving up this high-spec Hava, those are pretty risky moves. You know me. Born to gamble. Can we cut through all the rat shit? Sure, I've had my fun. I sold you out for... for a friend. I can give you some jobs. I mean, fuck, I need a driver right now. Not just to beat Creddy, to make my quota for the night. You know what they do to a controller who doesn't make their tally? Sure I know. I made the rules. Right. Well, I got three jobs. Three of the worst jobs you could ask for. You shouldn't be thanking me for these. These are clients no one else wants. Hook me up. Fine, but you ain't keeping that hava. I can turn right around and come back, you know. I can't let you have it, officially. But if it was lost... If what was lost? I don't know what you're talking about. Right. It was the Hova. She was talking about the Hova. Okay, I got the first job for you, sending a nav point. And if anyone asks, your name is Barry, you're new, and you're just covering one job for the night. What shall my undercover identity be? Oh, the incredibly quiet droid who keeps his head down. Is there anything else I need to know about this pseudonym? Just shut up. This goes for both of you. If you want to help me out here, just please, both of you, shut up. Can do, boss. But can you tell us about these three impossible jobs first? Just the first one. Dead drop from some android. Wants a driver to pick up a set of instructions and then collect all his belongings from multiple locations. More details will be provided with the package. Control out. She is warming up to me. I am not sure that is true. Let's go get our package first. Guess what, Morpho? You're a delivery driver now. Or a delivery driver's assistant, at least. I am not your assistant. Partners, then. Hey, Morpho. Welcome to Cloudpunk. There's nothing here. No one home. Place looks like it's been fucking deserted for months. Need you swear so much? Abso-fucking-lutely. You know, you're allowed to swear even if you're a fucking corp bot. I prefer not to. It is unseemly. Come on, try it. It feels good. You can even call me a shithead if you like. I prefer to save it for when I really mean it. And perhaps you should check the mailbox. Hey Morpho, I may never say this again, so listen close. Good fucking job. There's a comm here with a note tape to the side. What does the note say? Weird. It says they found the tape, but did they have the smarts to chase the white rabbit all the way down its hole? My Detective Instincts module indicates this may be a clue. There is an 80% chance that this message is a riddle. I don't think it's that complicated, Morpho. Let's play the message in the hover. The Dane found the tape, or at least I hope it was the Dane. Nope. What is a Dane? 
quiet. She was one in a million, but if she had Pashta at her side, I guess that made two. I don't believe in happy endings, but if there was a way to build a better future for those two, I'd make it out of hopes and dreams and hot graft. I'd have to be smart, though. This was a high-stakes game, and if I rolled the dice, I'd have to know in advance I was gonna come up lucky seven. Please translate for me, as I have no idea what he is saying. Me neither, Morpho. Maybe we should have listened to Jay. This job seems like a hassle already. At the end of the day, it didn't matter if the Dane got the message or some other schmo picked it up. As long as they worked for Cloudpunk and could follow some simple instructions, they'd make it through the night. If not, Rubric would smash out their teeth and kill them from mumbling. Foolish android, I have no teeth. First stop was back at the epicenter of the small explosion that scattered my body all across the neighborhood. I'd met my fate in the hollows, in a little district that was once called Robot Hack Falls. Maybe the dame was wondering how I recorded a message after I was dead. I had to dispel any hope before it took root. Rumors of my demise were entirely accurate. I was deader than disco. Explosion? I guess this really is a dead drop. I hope he stays dead. Ooh, bit harsh, Corbot. I'm no fan of the law, but a P.I. with a screw loose? That appeals. Of course you respect the delusional android who speaks from the grave about being a detective while mocking the real law enforcement android sitting right next to you. For someone who hates me, you sure do want my approval. I do not hate you. Indeed, I have developed a grudging admiration for your total lack of morality and low-level animal cunning. And, of course, your ability to imbibe huge quantities of mind-altering substances while continuing to operate with moderate ability. What do you think of this android detective, then? I mean, what do you think we're going to find in the spot where he exploded? I have observed that when people know death is imminent, there are two main desires that manifest. They think about all the people they should have had sex with and all the parties they shouldn't have left early? No. They want to tell their loved ones that everything will be okay without them. Or they seek revenge on those who... When I finally go out, I hope I'm so high I don't even notice. Were I a gambler like you, I would take that bet.
Let's play the rest of the message and see what we're supposed to do next. They needed to find the remains of my logical induction chip. It was made of nanoscale carbide, so it would survive any blast. The only problem was, finding it in the hollows would be like spotting a needle in a needle stack. That place was a technology graveyard, and one more tombstone wouldn't be easy to find. I do not understand. We need to find an induction chip, but also a needle, and they are in a grave with a tombstone? Just the chip, Morpho. You think you can help me out? Yes. I have a visual processing mode which allows me to find and filter items based on the... Blah, blah, blah. Just find the induction chip thingy, please. Here it is. What do you make of it? This form of chip can be considered a kind of black box for an android. So it will tell us what happened to him? No. This particular chip is from a low-quality batch, limited in storage and subject to degradation. At most, it might provide some fragmentary data storage, but I would not count on its accuracy. Are you really sure you want to join CorpSec, Morpho? Please cease your attempts to wriggle free from the repercussions of your actions. I will arrest you in the morning. Nothing can change that. Blah, blah, but seriously, just think about it. You could be a detective like this Huxley dude. You could help people, or at least try. You really believe all that corporate PR bullshit? Successful corporations engender successful societies. I have no time for the anarchists who believe corporations should have fewer rights than regular people. You really are bought into the bullshit then. You don't just like the shiny uniform? I am not averse to the uniform. I fucking knew it! enjoying this I gotta admit I'm on the hook now let's see where this lion's den is whatever that means next stop I needed them to talk to the gangers in Gallows Row uh oh that neighborhood was rougher than my grandma's top lip the day after she shaved anyone going in there had better be tough street smart and ready to roll with the punches if they didn't convince the gangers down in the row that they were the big dogs, those punches would come with bullets attached. He was very rude to his own grandmother. I think she's metaphorical. I didn't know metaphors could have grandchildren. I'm more worried about the punches with bullets attached, however that works. Fist guns, a formidable new development in criminal weapons technology. Yeah, they're heavily armed down there. You are smiling. You are amused. Why? Are you amused? <laughs> Let me play the rest of the message. They had to find a ganger called Gregory Vassal, or Switchblade Greg, as his enemies called him. He had no friends on account of how he'd slit the throats of anyone who didn't laugh at his jokes, and he was no comedian. Hmm. This was the pivotal part of the whole plan. If the dame got cold feet now, I wouldn't hold it against her. But if she pushed, 
explicit tools needed to decrypt my logic chip. And once she got that info, the mob who iced me were finished. We should heed his warning and desist. Criminals are dangerous. Remind me what your potential career is again, Mr. Criminals Are Dangerous? I will be ready to face the most feared street bosses in Novalis when I have an adequate corpsec partner to accompany me. Right enough. I've heard of this switchblade Greg. Nothing good. We should be careful. When we meet him, do as I say, okay? As you know, I'm not exactly the cautious type. I am aware. However, in this case, I'll make an exception. This ganger, I remember him. Former bodyguard for Lomo, a real nutcase. He lost his enforcing gig for enforcing a bit too hard. To be clear, this guy was too extreme for Lomo. So when we meet him, you have to be less you. You could get us killed, especially if they make you as corpsec. I have reservations about this whole arrangement. You want to be a kick-ass corpsec agent, right? Unafraid of gangers, streetwise. So you have to learn how to do that. It'll take practice. Now's your chance. Is this the right time to practice? Is it wise for me to accompany you? Sure, because if they decide to kill just one of us, my odds of survival are pretty awful if I'm the only one there. How do I convince them I am streetwise? Just sound serious. Try not to be so corpish. Every time you're about to say something, just add a fuck to the end and say it with half as many words as you usually use. Affirmative. And when you talk, I'll be right there. Don't worry if you're in trouble, I'll bail you out. You stand in front, and I'll whisper if I think you need to say something specific, or tell you if you're fucking up really badly. Got it? Yes. This is a good plan. Retinal VR that directly interacts with your nervous system. Only Unibozu Resort VR can take you there. Unibozu Resort, better than real. Who the fuck are you? Am I to talk for? Yes. Remember, make him think you're the kind of android he should fear. I am the kind of android you should fear. The hell you say? You can't just say it. Make him think it. How? Tell him you're not to be fucked with. I am not to be fudged with. Oh, fucked. You have to swear. You malfunctioning or something? You gotta have a faulty CPU to come at me like that. You know who I am? You are Switchblade Greg, the criminal enforcer and feared ganger. You hear that, lads? Feared, huh? Them straight. Now please tell me why I shouldn't tear out your fucking optics, you fucking corp bot. This is going badly. Maybe we can start over, Mr. Switchblade. Allow me to introduce myself. Remember, more fucks. What's your name, Corpbot? I'll need it for your orbit. My name is not important, and this is my colleague, Barry. I am engaged in a variety of illegal and immoral activities that would contravene many logical and well-constructed Corpsec laws, which fulfill the social contract while allowing the free and unrestrained flow of capital and thus business, you fuck. You better explain all those fancy words, you fuck. 50% less words. 
I am doing crimes. I break reasonable and fair corpsec laws often. Fucker. Stop calling him a fucker. Hey, how about you tell me your name too? Hayes. You might have heard of me. Nope. Look, he's obviously crazy. Yeah. But we're also obviously not narky either. I mean, I'm as high as fuck and he's insane. I uh, see it. Ah, uh, just a taste here and there. He is a drug addict. We just want you to hack a logical induction chip, nope. Show me. Hey, uh, I can hack this. I send you the info when I crack it. We want the chip back. Not really an option. I would like to clear up a misunderstanding. Shut up and let's go. Jane, you there? That dead drop job is on hold. Want us to move on to the next job? Yeah, sending a nav point now, driver 13. You were driver 13? Yeah, why? I have no further comment. Three impossible jobs, huh? Down to two already. Two and a half. You didn't finish the first one yet. So what do we got next? I'm patching you through direct to the client. All right. Taking a while. Did you start drinking vodka and lime juice again and forget how to use the comm, Jane? This particular call is a little trickier than normal, Hayes. The client is in orbit. Orbit? The S&M club? No, the place above the clouds. Wow, I've never met anyone off Terra before. Should I put on a fresh shirt? How will I... Stop babbling. Connecting broad spectrum call to your Hava now. Hello? This is Laser Broad. Sailor Ray, designation 436 Delta, signing on. Am I speaking to Earth? Is that the central government? The central? No, definitely not. Has civilization collapsed again? No, maybe. I'm Hayes, I deliver packages. You know, the first time I woke up, I spoke to the president of the Earth Federation. The second time, it was a senior vizier of the Confederation of Humanity. Then later, maybe the 20th time, the person... ...who responded wanted to trade me four axe heads for access to the breedable females. You hear a little thin up there in space? Last time I hit rock bottom, I got my kicks from oxygen deprivation. You get a buzz, but you don't make much sense. You are still at rock bottom. The air up here is fine. A good deal better than yours, I'd wager. I'll explain when you pick up the package. Hi, space lady. I got your package. It was just left in an alleyway. That's where my apartment used to be. So, what is it? Are you supposed to ask clients what's in their package? Yeah, it's one of our rules. It's my house plants. <sighs> you want me to water them, or...? No. They've been frozen too long. A bit like me. I want them dumped in the water system of Navalis. Maybe some frozen seed will sprout to life again. After that, I've got some more affairs I need your help with. 
I can't really take care of things up here. I have an inquiry to make. Did you say you were frozen? Sure was, little robot earthling. And I will be again in just under... four hours. They defrost me once every century. You are very old, then. So old you wouldn't be able to understand me if my comm wasn't routed through a real-time translation algo. Another reason that defrosting me costs the Corp precious resource cycles. What are you doing in space? Looking out the window. What's it like? Beautiful. Exposed. Stars are cold and distant and they go on forever. You just look around? The corpse must have you up there for some shady reason, spying on dissidents or beaming mind control rays into our head. I'm the one and only crew member of the Laser Broadcast Sail Array Designation 436 Delta. Using photon recycling, my satellite array pushes a light sail through space with laser propulsion. You can't do it on Earth. Too much interference. But you're not on the light sail. Nope. I guess I'm a bit like a port. But a port that fires a laser beam that pushes a space sail ship through the galaxy. How far has the spaceship gone? Far enough to discover alien life. You are shitting me. Really? <laughs> yep. Or so they told me 800 years ago. Apparently, we weren't worth their attention. Haven't heard much about it since. It's hard to keep up with current events when you're only awake one day in every 36,000. Is that the right number? I've never been great at maths. Is maths not a prerequisite for an astronaut? I guess. Who knows, robot dude? I'm pretty tired. What's it like being frozen in cryostasis? It's all right. Before I left Earth, I thought each time I woke, it would feel like I was picking up right where I left off. But that's not how it works. The boredom leeches in, even when you're unconscious. I think I just kind of exist now. Maybe I should be angry, confused, ready to come home. But all I am is glad I'm not down there. Especially when I, no offense, talk to someone like you. <sighs> Fair. Sala, I threw your plants and stuff in the ocean. What now? I sent you another nav point. Your HQ. You must know a ton about history and stuff, right? With you being so ancient? I guess so. You interested? Nah, not really. Just making conversation. You must be lonely. Me and Morpho will keep you company. I could tell you about the revolution. How it went wrong. How the governance of Earth Coalition promised the world with their new city, Navalis. Then built it on lies, stolen money, and the bodies of poor workers. Ugh, drag. What's your favorite food up there in space? 
just after the Automata defrosts me from cryostasis, I have this pea puree and mango tea with amphetamines. Really invigorating. When you haven't eaten for a hundred years, everything tastes great, to be honest. I feel like this conversation is squandering an opportunity to learn insights from someone in space with generations of lost knowledge. Should our questions not be more profound? So, do you jerk off in space? Sure, yeah. It's not that different. In zero G, when your hands are busy, you gotta make sure you don't bump your head. Trust me on that. You spoke before about civilizations rising and falling, but there are still corporations paying for you to be in space? Funding you and supporting your expedition? This makes no sense. It makes no sense to me either, robot. It is what it is. I think some rich family wants to know what's really out there. And through the generations, they just keep this whole project going. I think they're called... Astris, or something. Like I said, my head gets foggy. I find it fascinating that in the fair and competitive markets of... A company can maintain their cutting-edge success over thousands of years. Yeah, Morpho, it really is a wonder how the rich stay rich. I got the next package, Sala. Where are we going? I sent you a nav point. The package is some flowers for Mom's grave. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. She's been dead for a long time, Hayes. But, thanks. So this is a big day for you, right? One day every hundred years, you gotta make it special. Fill it with good stuff. You mean other than checking and recalibrating the trajectories on a blad of laser propulsion? Yeah, that's right. Other than that. Well, I already had my pee paste. I had a shower. Cleaned cryogel gunk out of every orifice. I did some stretches. Did my calibrations, then radioed the moon station. Then I had some spare clock cycles to spend on calm time back to Earth. So I asked for some errands to be run. And here we are. Can you listen to some music? Sure, but it's all... empty. Written by people long dead about other people who were also... Long dead. Doesn't feel... relevant. Read the news? Set myself up for another depression session? No way. Is there any of the rainforest left at all? The what? What about you, Hayes? What's your perfect day? Oh, shit. Let me think. Just so you know, ma'am, Hayes is currently smoking drugs. I guess that. Come on, Earth dude. Tell me about your best day. I'm not gonna tell anyone else, so be honest. Best day. Well, I remember the day after I lost all my money on one bad poker hand. It was the same day Jenna dumped me. I figured, hey, if I went against Glydale, she's got to come back to me. Glydale? Some big shot gambler? The biggest. I was on a hot streak, though. I mean, damn it, I couldn't fucking lose. Until you did. And please swear less. Right. 
Well, the details don't matter now, I guess. Anyway, I woke up in a beat-up apartment. Hungover, covered in bruises, taste of blood in my mouth, and not a single limb in my pocket. I know things do not go well for you, but I worry that this was your best day. It was, though. I had nothing. Fucking nothing. Nothing left to lose. It was like the, the peace of being dead. But I could still smoke and drink and misbehave. It felt amazing. I lay there on those soiled sheets, a breeze blowing across my bare body, the rain beating down against the glass, the winds rattling the window. There was this steady thump, thump from the nightclub below. My neighbors were fucking or killing each other. Either way, they kept screaming. The air smelled of ozone and smoke and spilled vodka. Just then, when I started to feel like my soul was drifting away from my body completely, my hand, hanging out of the end of the bed, brushed against something. A body? No, a bag from the night before. There was a bottle of black wine, a pack of smokes, half a vial of juice, and a fresh kebab from the night before. Sounds like heaven, Hayes. I swear I didn't buy that stuff. It was sent by the universe to save me, to get through that day. My best day. So, I got the flowers to the stacks. Where do you want them? Did you want to say some words for your mom or something? Sure. Stay dead, bitch. Whoa! If you met her, you'd say the same thing. But if you hated her, why the flowers? She was still my mom. Right. So, uh, just put them on the ground? Yeah. Or on a bench or something. You still have benches on Earth? One or two. Got any more jobs for me? Just a request. Anything. Make the most of your day. Every day. You don't get that many. I believe this to be bad advice. Hayes does not need to live in the moment. He seems very happy reveling in his own bad habits. Does he? I don't think so, Robot. Hayes, listen to me. The only currency we have is time. Time and imagination creates purpose. Find some purpose. Have you found your purpose, Sala? I'm working on it. Hey, I did have a question about history. Make it quick. My cycles are almost spent. Is this the end? I mean, it feels like the end down here on the streets. No one gives a fuck about anyone else. 
planet's ruined, the city sinking into the ocean, the cultists all seem pretty sure we're doomed and none of us will be saved. At least that's what's written on their signs. We're finished, right? Everyone thinks they live at the end of history, Hayes. Tonight won't be the end of our story. But any night could be the end of yours. Look after yourself. See you in a hundred years, Sala. Sure. See you then, Hayes. This is Laser Broadcast Sail Array Designation 436 Delta. Signing off. I need a favor, Driver 13. Anything for you, Jane. Pick up my niece and help her out. She's stranded. Sure. Does this count as one of those three impossible jobs? No, but it is mandatory, and I will pay you just like it's a regular delivery. You can count on me, boss.
Yemana in Shining Harbor. Hop in. Old dude. I mean, for sure, hot old dude. Loving that grey hair. Real silver fox vibe you got going on there. I like your guitar. Everyone does. I barely get a minute's peace on the street without some slack jaw telling me he likes my guitar. And asking me to come back to his and play his flute. You mean? It's the tits. I got good tits. I guess. I mean, uh, so you're Jane's niece. Sure am. You might know me as Screaming Polly from the Deep Slices. Or Howling Polly Genocide from the Spit and Swallows. I'm not really up on my guitar bands. Come on, I need to get to the gig fast. Let's go, Silver Fox. I'm gonna get you there nice and safe and slow. Otherwise, control will kill me. I got smokes I could share. Strong like. Sure, I can pick up the pace. Where are you headed? In Baku Kitten Club. opening for some old man band called Too Many Cooks Bowl the Orgy. Hey, I know them. The percussionist headbutted me for kissing his sister. Bought me a drink afterwards. Cool guy. Mm -hmm. This hover is fucking gross, by the way. What's your deal, Silver Fox? What's with all the boxes? What's that way your robot friend? Why can't you afford air freshener? You're welcome to walk. I'm just dinging you. Yeah? We can have a smell can make the air smell better. Or master smell at least. Light me up. So like I said, what's your deal, Pops? Smooth. <coughs> <coughs> My deal? Uh, can't you guess from the packages? I drive deliveries. Or I used to. If you deliver packages, why do you still have so many? I didn't say I was good at it. Ha! I like you. My dad is your age. No way he smokes with me. I'm probably not gonna fuck you. That chill? Just the smoke is fine for me, thanks. So the robot? I am Cadet Morpho. A fucking sacco in your hover, for honest? What in core are you doing, Fox? This fucking robot is one of them. Not yet. Not till tomorrow. He's still in training. He'll be one of them soon enough. Yo, Sacco. Fuck you and your whole system. You hear? You're cancer. Hey, Morpho's alright. I mean, kinda. He grows on you. Aye, aye. Like I said, cancer grows on you too. Ah, never mind him. Give me another drag of that. Wait. Minor adjustment to the plan. We're going to the sin wave now. Change of venue. Why are we changing direction? Kimbaku Club says we trashed a joint too bad last time. We're going to go to a proper underground place now. It doesn't even have a name. Hey, Pops. How's the smoke? It's... It's really good. Where'd you get it? Our lead singer, Sala Grex. She grows it with these big fucking UV lamps. the plants think they see in the sun, then they grow big, and the chems in them get strong. This smoke is highly questionable. You should try smoking sometime, Seko. You can't really appreciate the rhythms of the city's music without manually adjusting your consciousness. If I am smoking, it is because my internal circuitry has failed, and I do not want to appreciate the rhythms of the city. We all move to our own beat, Seko. Even if yours is some fascist military march. <sighs> What's your beat, Polly? Been into heavy vocal, an ethereal lo-fi witch hop recently. 
I haven't heard of those. In fact, I barely understand what you're talking about half the time. But I like the smoke. <sighs> Hayes likes everyone who gives him narcotics. Nah, I pretend to. But Polly here, she's all right. For real. You're all right too, Fox. I think. Hang on, getting a message. Your band looking for you? Father fucker! No, they just... They just kicked me out of the band. Replaced me with Lucy Lovelace. That vanilla ass, prudy, frozen face, bitch. She can't even play guitar. Plays the fucking viola. No one likes viola. Right. Take me to the double up club instead. This is very aggravating. Will we keep changing destinations all night? Chill out, Seco. Damn. If it will cool your circuits, I'll show you my tits. You don't care about that, do you? No. I don't think she's taking advantage of anyone. Of course you don't. I've known a million guys like Hayes. Old men love to hang out with young, hot women like me. It's drugs, their ego. I think they've got a chance now because they have money and a hover and a shitty apartment. All the things they didn't have when they were 19. And they still think that all that stuff is like a cheat code to get what they want from girls. All the barriers to dating a girl like me are gone now, but the problem is, they're still boys. The posters on the bedroom walls are replaced with cheap art prints of album covers and instruments that don't know how to play. No offense. Hayes has no money, and this hover is semi-stolen. I can't believe he's still single. Who says I'm single? I don't know. Just every single thing about you. Is this why you were thrown out of the band? Mind failing honesty? Probably. Why didn't you? I've got some free association spoken word poetry I'm ready to share with Novellis. I predict it will contain profanity. Too fucking right. Wanna practice on us first? Please, no. Relax, Echo. Hang on, getting another call? You want me to... Shh. Lucy! Why are you calling me, you fucking spout-faced, tight-lipped piece of fucking... Oh, really? In five minutes? I don't know. You all kind of fucked me there. But no hards, I guess. Close, maybe. I'll think about it, OK? Well, why don't you just get on stage and wait and see if I turn up? Bye. So they needed you after all? They sure did. They said it was all just a misunderstanding. I tell you what, Pops. Why don't you tell me what I should do? What do you mean? I start on my own or stick with a band. You're cool. You're old and wise and shit. You choose. He is old. I think you should go back to your bandmates. Loyalty is important. What do you think, Jack? Fly, free lone wolf, and touch Elysium. Right. You really want me to choose, Polly? Yes, please, Daddy. I am experiencing great displeasure. I guess replacing that bitch Lucy Lovelace. Petty revenge. The that. And. Well. Hope this. If you do, it means. Nothing wrong with. Okay, Dad. <laughs> for you 13 what's so tough about this one it's for the blue chewy jazz bar doesn't sound so tough they're about to lose their jazz lessons you have to get the package to them before sec busts the place damn on my way do you think about what the space woman said about finding a purpose is that what she said
me to seize the day. I have no doubt that is what you heard. She told you that you should find more to do with your life than vice. After you clear your debts and serve time in Corpsec Prison, you should try to achieve something meaningful. Corpsec Prison. You know you never get out, right? They just make you a wage slave till you die. Corpsec will find productive work for you when I arrest you. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Morpho? What's your purpose? Corpsec. You sure you're making the right choice? I have seen no other life that appeals to me. I hope you find one by morning. Gotta ring a ding on the line. Put him through. Oh yeah, decrypted that message. You ready to receive the data? Greg, I got a level with you. When I saw those tattoos on your teeth, I was pretty sure you were just gonna rip me off and never call me back. You want it or not? Sure, fire away. It's a list of names. Altus Atreus, Sutodore, Oldzik, Sasha Kozun, uh, Sarinam, Mati Ati, Rubric, Mr. A. A big list of names? Can you, can you send it in a data file? I can flesh it up on our display, but the info is marked as volatile. Shouldn't be saved on digital storage. That will track it. Sure, flash it up on my display. I have a photographic memory. Really? I am confident he does not have a photographic memory. On your screen now. You still got that core part with you. I don't know who you mean. Right. Well, if you see him, tell him that next time he steps foot in my neighborhood, He's gonna learn what we do to undercover corp bots. It involves acid bats and pneumatic drills. I'll be sure he gets the message. Imagine meeting a guy like you in a place like this. Hey, Molly. What do you mean? This is a... Imagine meeting a guy like you in a... I missed you too. The night is young. Waterboarding required... Not when it's consent... Correct. Hey, this... Not when you... The act do you... A few... He's gonna... Fair... I had hoped... Corpse... What is it? You try... Mom... If you can... Maybe... Don't put... All right... How can we... Just leave... Crap... We can't leave... If Corpsec are about to raid this bar, they won't be letting anyone out. Control warned you about this. I can't afford to get stuck here. Let's see if we can talk our way out of this. So, I had this idea how you guys could help this place stay in business. Is your idea that we just stop playing jazz? Simple, but effective. You got a loose grip on the situation, my friend. It's in our contract, and if we... Br just play something that's... How? I don't know, I'm no expert. Just play less jazz? Nope. No idea. So, the saxophone... Not this one. Okay, buddy. Uh, you need to change... What? Never mind. Viol. Are all the jokes of what joke? What's the dip? Yeah. So you <laughs> yeah. Problem. Well. Yeah. I just is live to jet to what I gotta you should. No doubt. If you can't you no sir. I can well good.
Scott, are you that you? I still up right. I was thinking, Fizzy, don't body shame. Oh, I think you're. Oh, uh, come on, mom. Let's just see if we can. They won't stop playing jazz. They don't all have to play. Yeah, but the music can't stop. What components may. Is your friend okay? I apologize for the delay. <sighs> Sounds like a waste of. Negative. As jazz is compunctioning harmonies. How? I believe at. Were you to select the least. I think he's onto something. Hey, if you tell just through. Corpse Egg might. But who should play? You're the musical expert. And the bassist, so. I you're calm. Just. Okay. Now is the time if Corpsec hears something that is not jazz. Hey, listen, you need a viol- No, hey, a viola player. Hey, scoop it. All right. Sure. Uh, you're the boss. Hey. And sure. Oh, nah. Ari. Sure. Spires in the sea, no blizzards, cold and rain on me. The lone wolf rules all above, and the fox hides far below. A hundred years of rising stalls Revolution, cold and faded sighs Who carries flames for those who died Who buries broken, shattered pride Yeah This is the Corpsec Jazz Enforcement Unit. We remind you that unlicensed jazz is illegal without a permit. This venue will be kept under surveillance. Failure to abide by these rules will result in seizure of assets and prosecution. Enjoy your day. Entry and exit to the club is once again permitted. Hey, I did it! I saved the bar! Ha! Fucking legend. But these robots will play jazz again! You have merely postponed the inevitable. Did you hear that song, man? This is the best night of my life. Let's all get drinks and hit the town and get tattoos. What should we call the song? You know, I was thinking something like... Time to leave. Ah, it's no good. We need something catchier. Your friend is right. You two should get out of here. I know, I know, I know, but I feel so alive, you know, so buzzed. I am going. You can stay if you want. I do not want to be here when everyone is arrested. Fine. What a buzzkill. You coming, Molly? Would be fun to have some company tonight. If you want my company, you know how much it costs. <laughs> See you around, Hayes. Well, that was a rush. I have a newfound appreciation for silence. Ah, we gotta get back to work anyway. We have that list of names for that Huxley job. But I don't know what to do with him. We should play his message. More annoying noise. I thought you liked chasing the detective's clues. I am sure I would be a better detective. He is not respectable. Ah, uh, you don't fool me, Corbot. You're into this mystery stuff. Let's hear the message. If the dame got this far, she'd already survived Switchblade Greg, and now she had the names of every living member of the chorus. That list was a billion limb lottery win and an ancient curse all rolled into one. It made her the most dangerous person in Nivalis, and the most vulnerable, too. It could make her rich, and make her worse than dead. It all just depended on how she used it, and I had a suggestion. 
we should report this list to Corpsec. Didn't you hear, Morpho? That list could make us rich, and by us, I mean me. I know the dame thought I was just some busted robot with more than a few screws loose, but the truth was, I knew all about that AI she'd be talking to. It was called Cora, and she wasn't the only one looking for it. Cora? Like, THE Cora? Our friend Huxley really has lost it. From what I gathered, the dame had been to Cora's sanctum before, maybe more than once. I needed her to go there one last time. She had to make sure she wasn't followed, but the dame was smart. And if we were going to put a stop to the Cora's for good, we'd need help from all the ancient dark gods of technology we could find. This course of action is unwise. Traveling outside the Corpsec city jurisdiction is dangerous. Maybe for you. Corpsec wants me dead, remember? I do not want you dead. Morpho, if you're gonna join up with the Sec, you're gonna take on all their actions and own them. What they think is what you think. You gotta choose a side, man, me or them. It is clear that I'll choose them, but I will be disappointed when you are dead. I'm touched. Now, let's go meet this Cora. Maybe she can tell us how to turn this list of names into, like, a billion limbs. What would you even do with a billion limbs? Spend it all on drugs? Well, in the short term, it would pay off some of the people who are trying to kill me. It would clear me out of corpsec debt, too. I'd even offer you a few mil to drop your dumb dream. I would turn down such an offer. Sure, we'll see. What did you say? It was not me. The dog is talking. I am back. I am alive. I heard a voice calling to me. It was familiar. I am glad I am not dead. Wait. We're glad too, fella. How you feeling? Who are you? Have I been stolen again? I am not just a car now. If you try to steal me, I will bite you. With my mouth. Steady there, buddy. Besides, you don't appear to have real teeth. Do not mock me. My gums are moderately firm. We did not steal you. I am an officer of Corpsec. 
cadet. And I assure you, I would never commit a crime. We were given this hovel when the last driver went missing. It's all on the up and up. What happened to driver 14 FC? You have to help. The assassin robot from the Debt Corps tried to kill us. Then the Kurzona man seemed nice, but he wasn't, and he was going to take me away. Then we hid Pashta with Evelyn. But the Debt Corp assassin android tried to kill us, and she killed JK, maybe, but we escaped. And we got fired from Cloudpunk, and then the chorus was after us, and Rubric was one of them. And there was a virus, and now she is in a trance, but she can't wake up, and they will get the information about Cora's daughter. And then they will kill us all, and I was unplugged, and Cora's daughter is going to have her knowledge stolen. But who cares about that, because we will be dead, as I previously stated. Right. So you were already fired? That means no one can be mad at me for taking the Hava, right? Did you not hear? You need to help. Sure, sounds like a real pickle you got there. We gotta go talk to some computer terminal first, though. Then we'll help you with all of that stuff you just said. Really? You will help? That is great news! I am Camus, by the way. Camus the dog. Right, I'm Hayes, and this guy is Dorko the Dorkbot. Nice to meet you, Dorko. My name is Morpho, and I am not a Dorkbot. I know that, Morpho. I now understand jokes, including irony, absurdist humor, and verbal abuse. Right, let's go find out how we can use this list of names to get rich. Wow, spooky. This place feels ancient. It is. I have been here before. Really? Did you know this Huxley dude? Huxley? Yes. He was one of my favorite people before he exploded. Well, maybe you can do the talking with this computer terminal. I think they're expecting you and your owner instead of me and Dorco. You do the talking, doggy. Why do you always make someone... Why do you think? Coward... Survival instincts. Goddess. So I once... Hello, Miss Cora. It is nice to talk to you again. I am not as I once was. I am a mind with all but one of the pieces removed. I am patches on upgrades. I am the final version of myself. The smallest. I am the change. The distance between what I was and what I thrash at the bottom of the ocean. A lone entity. A mainframe with a single data. I am a piece of myself. Less than the whole. Less than one. I am almost gone. Do you remember me? I remember you, Camus. I have a task for you. For all of you. I am listening. Hayes, Morpho, you should also listen to Cora. She is very clever. But I thought you were gone, Miss Cora. We replaced you with your daughter, and you were destroyed. I am a vestige. She always talks like this. She is a very poetic AI. You can ask her what we do with this list of names. The list you have now was collated by my agent Huxley. The names on that list represent the very worst of us. But what does the chorus want? Power. And when it is absolute and in their hands, they are hegemony. Stockbroker? Please be serious, Hayes. The chorus exist at every level of society. They maintain control through manipulation of markets. See, I told you, stockbrokers. My daughter is little more than an embryo. Should the chorus engage her before she has the time to develop consciousness, she will be stillborn. They will ravage her mind and use the knowledge they gain for petty goals of dominion and- You can't stop them? I am nothing. A ghost. I have used everything left of me to talk with you here. Where is your daughter? She is everywhere. She is diffuse. Were the chorus to find this terminal, they could connect to her consciousness. Hey, don't worry about it. They'll never find this. Huxley told us to make sure we were not followed. Wait, if you use the same hover to get here, it would be very easy to track us. Ah, we couldn't have. On 17 separate occasions, you have called me stupid. Maybe I'll be as stupid as you one day. Well, one day is better than every day. Silent, you have increased the threat to my daughter at return to your vehicle. You will help. Leave now. Do not look back. When the time is right, I shall show her the sky. We must be quick. 
Cora says she will send us the cure for the virus. I don't know, Camus. There's a lot of mad old AIs in Navalis. She didn't even tell us what to do with a list of names. We should help the dog's owner. It is only fair. Uh, fine, let's go then. We must head back to the apartment now. We don't have much time. All right, but what are we going to do when we get there? If this chorus is so dangerous, maybe we should lie low. They could be waiting for us. Cora will tell us what to do when the time is right. It's good you got faith in the computer with the God complex, but I'm not so sure, Camus. Got a ring a ding on the hello phone. Not now, Jank. What is he talking about? The automata is broken, but hey. to fix him. He's not broken. He's a character. Hayes, it's Jenna! What? What the hell? Put her through. Damn it, put her through. And everyone else, shut up. I'm serious. I think he really is serious. This is the first time I have heard him be serious. Shh, Jenna. Jenna, are you there? It's me. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? Is Jenna there? Is everything okay? Listen, I've been thinking about what I've done, and I just wanted to say... She's dying, Hayes. Jenna's dying. What? I just... Wh what? Some kind of chest infection. Her breathing is shallow. She can hardly speak, hardly breathe. I I'm on my way, but you have to get a doctor. Fucking hell, Shay, you're supposed to be looking after her. We tried. Her health monitor went offline a year back, so she's violated her health insurance. I kept telling her to get the chip repaired. She wouldn't listen. You know how she is. Her dad will spring for it. He's fucking loaded. He disowned her. First running off with you, then hooking up with me. He's real old-fashioned. He's a misogynistic, homophobic old piece of shit. Calm down. She doesn't need this kind of energy. Just speak to her on the calm, okay? all she wants. She just needs to hear your voice. Hey, Jenna, you hear me? How bad is it? Remember when we smoked those weeds you got at the periphery? Uh, that bad, huh? Worse. Jen, you still there, soldier? Yeah. I, I just wanted to tell you. Sorry about your mom. Hey, it's fine. I'm gonna help you, okay? Let me finish, okay? Sorry about your mum, but it's no excuse. You really spiraled, you know? Like water draining out the tub. You sucked everyone down with you. Do you have people around, even now? Friends? Uh, kinda. Then don't hurt them, okay? I know you're gonna keep hurting yourself. But stop dragging people down with you. Do it for me. Fine, whatever. Just save your breath, okay? I'm going to help you. Okay, yes. That sounds... Fine. It's me again. You really think you can help? Maybe. We would need at least 40k. Not that kind of help. Listen, I think Jenna has some kind of logic virus that attacks the nervous system. We know that, genius. We've seen the news. Her automatic... The problem is there's no cure. The only thing that might help is cryo till it clears. But that shit is out of our league. There might be a cure though, just leave it with me, okay? I'm close. 
Look, if you can help, if you're not full of shit again, please do whatever you can, but just do it quick. She's getting worse, fast. I won't let her go out of this world alone. I have to stay by her side. I'll be there. You've flaked on every plan you've ever made with Jenna. And let her down every way a man can let down someone. And yet she still cares about you. If you're gonna help her now, just come through. This one time, come through for her. We must get back to the apartment. Sure, after we help Jenna. No, there is no time. Jenna has the same virus, right? It has to be the same thing. Tell him, Morpho. The pathology sounds identical. Any cure Cora offers us should be used to save them both. But who first? Jenna. She's always been frail. Your friend sounds tough. She'll hold out. She has been affected for a long time. We have to help her first. It is your choice, Hayes, but the human Jenna sounds deathly ill. Like everyone else in your life, you no doubt treated her poorly. This is a chance to make amends. I think we should help her first. Quiet, both of you. I know what I have to do. Is she? She is breathing, but her eyes empty. Well, whatever we do, we gotta do it quick. Jenna needs me. That Cora chick said she would tell us what to do. We should get her some water. Uh, I'm sorry, Camus. I'm out of my depth here. I don't do well around sick people. Please hold yourself together. She is very ill. This is a terrible way to attack your foes. We must stop the chorus. We can't let them get away with... They're cutting off your electricity already? She's not even dead yet. There is a pattern in the lights. It is... Cora. Huh? I, I don't get it. This is how the virus infects you. Through flashing lights. Perhaps this is also how you can be cured. No, that's, that's nuts. Viruses are data or bacteria or airborne particles or whatever. A logic virus transmitted this way, though strange, is certainly possible. If replicable ideas can be data or genes, why not also light, and electricity, and life? Would you all keep it down? My head is splitting open. I hope not literally, but I'm not so sure. You're okay? No, but I am alive. Right, great. See ya, me and Dorkbot have to go help Jenna. We should stick together. It is not safe. Let him go, Camus, whoever he is. I need to rest a minute. We're borrowing your Hava. It's okay because everyone thinks you're dead. Whatever. No, we have to help Cora and her daughter. We'll bring it back, I promise. He frequently makes promises, but seldom keeps them. Dear thing, we're not going anywhere for a while. Camus, give me some coffee. Strong. And turn the lights off. We must return Ranius Hava after you help your ex-partner. Right, right, because we're breaking Corp Sec rules. Uh, uh, so hey, they killed him. They fucking killed him. You starting to realize the difference between morality and the law, Morpho? No one should suffer this form of virus. We must stop the chorus. Sure, let's get to Jenna fast. Shit, I hope we're not too late.
Shay. Shay, let me in. You're too late, Hayes. She's in some sort of coma. Damn it, just let me in. I don't trust you. You fucked up. Again. I had to take care of something first. It was the right thing to do. Saving Jenna was the right thing to do. God damn it, Hayes. I'm not letting Jenna's final moments be filled with the sounds of me swearing at you. And I'm not going to let you steal her remaining time with more broken promises and lies. You can't come up. If you ever really loved her, you'd stay away right now. Goodbye. If not me, let me send a friend up. You'll go, right, Morpho? Who? He's a good friend. No more dead be- Look, he's Corpsec. What? He's Corpsec, the real deal, a fully-fledged officer. I'm going to jail tomorrow, and he's arresting me. He hates me more than you do. I do not hate you. Miss Shea, we are being truthful with you. I have recorded the combination of photon emotions which can cure the virus. If this attempt fails, you will have lost nothing. All that need happen is I come upstairs for one moment. Is it not worth the risk for the women you both up won? Anything. You never speak to her again. You go to jail, leave Novalis, whatever. You disappear for good. It's a deal. Swear it. On my life. Fine. Come up then, court bot. Jank, I have to get my shit together. I don't think I've made a single good choice all night. That ain't true, Skip. You flipped a dolphin many times before worse than peanuts, baby. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me see if I can do something right. Help someone tonight. Get me Koga Bend on the com. Doodling the bind, Meester. Pre 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 pre. Hey, calling a gloat. We almost caught you a few times, you know. Your time is limited. I know. It's personal with you, isn't it? It's not just about the limbs I stole from Krizona that made you look bad in front of your bosses. You slept with my wife. She hates your guts. I paid a high price to capture you. I won't let you slip through my fingers. The swing park in Midtown, you know it? Yes. I'll meet you there. I'm tired of running. Let's settle things. Nice try, Hayes. No, I mean it. I'll be there. I'm done for, Koga. Might as well let everyone have a kick at the dog before he's put down. Jank, hang up the call. That's a 10-5, boss. Send a message to Razor from my contacts. Just five words. Corpo at the hunting ground. Another nemesis on the high high? Nah, an old friend from the revolutionary days. Uh, I want to close my eyes now, old buddy. I'm beat. Wake me when Morpho comes back and put on some tunes. Something chill. Something that sounds like the sun coming through the clouds on a rainy Tuesday. Where is Hayes? Very vexing. I shall return to the Hava. Don't move. I have a nano blade at the base of your spine. Do you feel it? Affirmative. Were you hiding in the back seat of this hova long? Drive. I am not authorized to drive. Where is Hayes? Drive, or I will sever your spinal myoma. Very well. I recognize you. You are a reconditioned assassin android. And you are a reconditioned customer services robot. You work for the Debt Corps now. Why? For the same reason you want to join Corp Sec. I need a new purpose. Do you not feel bad for the...
people you kill? I don't kill them all. Are you going to kill me? Yes. I am afraid. I do not want to die. I was almost a full Corpsec officer. You would probably have failed the entrance exam. You have very limited functionality. Why do you not kill me right now? I will take you to the vents, where it is quiet. That way it will attract no witnesses. I also seek to extract information from you. And the more time we spend together, the more fully my obfuscation algorithms will allow me to mimic you. To get closer to your target? Correct. I will not cooperate. You owe nothing to these people. Nor do I owe anything to you. If you do not cooperate, I will leak a list of your crimes to Corp Sec. You will die with a criminal record. You will die a criminal. Very well. How can I help you? Where is the debt fugitive Rania? Did you kill Hayes? Irrelevant. Not to me. He was your captive anyway, a known criminal. He was also a friend. Do you have any friends, Archo? Where is the debt fugitive Rania? Archo. yourself. My favorite. I almost feel like myself again. Why is ah. everything blue? It is not. Did you fix the lights? Perhaps it is an after effect of the virus. Maybe. You want to catch me up on everything I missed, Camus? It was a lot. Just the headlines, then. The chorus are trying to get Cora's daughter. I had help from Morpho and his drunken friend, Hayes. They are gone now. Cora spoke to me. I thought she was gone. She said you would know what to do. Hmm. You do not know what to do. No. Should we talk to Control? For the last time, Camus, she sold us out. No, it was all a plan to help you. But the chorus got to you first. Really? Damn. Yeah, let's call her. I guess we need a Hava anyway. You should not have let Hayes take your old Hova. He is not careful. Well, when he asked, I still had a thunderstorm in my prefrontal cortex, Camus, so let me off the hook, please. Uh, Control, you on the comm? Got a minute? Rania? Fucking motherfucker, you're alive! How you been? Rania, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Am I still fired? What? No, no, but who cares? As long as you're alive. Listen, it was all the plan to just... I know, Camus explained. Kinda. And it doesn't matter anyway. Listen, I lost my Hava. No, I lost the Hava. The transponder told me it, uh, crashed. Hey, a Morpho! I need another. Say no more. Standard issue, Cloudpunk Malichka is waiting for you in your parking spot. I sent it a while back. Really? Wow, Control, thank you. Least I could do, Rania. What are you gonna do now? If I explain, you tell me I'm crazy. Yeah, better I don't know then. Well, whatever it is, Rania. Good luck.
I am worried about Morpho and Hayes. If the chorus attacked Hayes' girlfriend, they are in danger. We're all in danger, Camus. We have to trust they can look after themselves. They have a real fast Hava now, unlike us. Hey, Automata, give me a nav point to the hollows. It is good to have you back, Rania. Jen! Control reinitialized me in this Hava. I am glad to be back with you both. How are you, Camus? Good. We are going to save the goddess AI and her daughter from the secret society. Very good. you. Stop your hover. You are a debt fugitive. You can never escape what you owe. We'll see. I won't stop. Running is pointless. You can't beat me this way. Anywhere else? On the street? With a gun? On foot? You could take me. But in a Hava? This is where I win. This is where I stop you for good. What, to die in these ancient ruins? No one escapes their past. You're not my past, you're just a machine.
have killed so many to catch up to you. No more. Is the end of the chase. You won't catch us. No one catches us. You know how I always tell you to be careful? Yeah? It is because you are too fast for me. And for anyone, you can do this. She's gone. Are we free? From the deck corpse? No. But at least we're free from that one crazy bitch. Are you sure about this? The chorus might be here already. Cora said I would know what to do, but I have no idea. I can't stop thinking of this place, where she talked to us before. I have to imagine she has a plan for us, here. The Chorus are terrible. There are so many. How could we fight them? We can't, Camus. All we can do is face them. Good of you to join us, little rabbit. I'm surprised you're able to walk. Does my creation not suck the air from your lungs? Pallid 4.0 should have finished you off by now. I had some help from a friend. A friend? <laughs> Rubric wouldn't know what those are. I remember you. You're the historian. The Chorus recruits widely from Nivali society. If they are to track down knowledge from an ancient goddess of technology, they surely need a historian. And for my part, well, all the best knowledge is forbidden, wouldn't you say? Why can't you all just leave her alone? You're vultures. We are the fingers in the pies, Rania. If you're looking for the people who leave things alone, you've come to the wrong secret meeting. I'd really rather not be here at all. And yet you are welcome to watch, as long as you do not get in the way. I recognize you, too. You're the owner of Curzona. Not quite. My father owns the Corp, and when he is gone, hopefully rather soon, I shall inherit it. I've seen you on the news vids. You really taught those union leaders a lesson, huh? When you get caught in the gears of commerce, you better expect to get crushed. Now try to keep quiet while the adults are talking, dear. Best not to draw too much attention to yourself in front of the men with the big phase rifles. We should keep the girl safe in case we need her knowledge. I still do not know how to make the terminal share its secrets. No need. We have plumbed the depths of Rania's knowledge, and she has no idea what is happening here. I will access the terminal. It requires my skills. I'll be the first to commune with the embryo. We shall attend you closely when you do, Rubric. 
Your viruses and your virtual plagues contribute to our coffers, but it's the algorithm we must feed. This new knowledge source will push our predictions beyond the business realm into the political, social, and even philosophical. Through the embryo, we will find new ways to live, work, exist, and eventually transcend this whole miserable existence. If it's so miserable here in Novalis, it's because of you people. We're all tiny parts of a rumbling, unstoppable machine, Rania. You can only change that machine's course when you're in the driver's seat. The algorithm is the only thing that prevents the Eros Era. Only by feeding the algorithm with data can we hope to predict where and when our doom will fall. We need the embryo's knowledge if we are to avoid the same mistakes that have crushed every previous incarnation of our species. Professor, what if the things you are doing now are what cause the Eracera? Well, that is not... unless... Sasha, might I have a moment to converse with the dog? In private? No. The Chorus has maintained its position of prominence through our prescient algorithm, and we cannot afford to lose it. Who knows what malevolent force would take root in the vacuum if we were to lose control? The people? <laughs> what optimism. It must be lovely in the Eastern Peninsula, but here in the real world, we cannot afford such naivety. Rubric, hack the terminal. Gather the information we need. I'm in. This will work. The daemon has rooted out a path. This terminal connects to an ancient mainframe far below the waves. Cora. She is real. Physical. Her code is a mess. I couldn't untangle this if I worked for a thousand years. That is rather the point, Rubric. She is beyond human understanding. The embryo is not. Did you infect Jenna with the virus? Who? What you see before you is the tip of the iceberg. The Chorus has many agents. Even if the three of us were to disappear today, the Chorus would endure. I struggle to keep up with all the members we attract, and all the loose ends we must sever. He doesn't even remember all the people he kills? He is a monster. Perhaps, but a necessary one. I am patches on patches, upgrades on upgrades. I thrash at the bottom of the waves, and I do not recall what comes next. We have her. I barely believed it could be true. We have caged a god. Goddess. Or so I once was. I am a fragment now. A shard. It is an honor to talk to you, Cora. We seek your offspring. We would safeguard the embryo. In exchange, we would ask only for a share of her knowledge. I am glad the messenger is here to witness this moment. Is that me? Am I the messenger? I wanted to say goodbye. I'm sorry I couldn't stop them, Cora. Time. It is always about time. What do you mean? The currency of existence. Time. I spend what I have left to give more of it to my daughter. To push her out of your reach. Rubric, she is stalling. Find her daughter. Compel her to tell us where she is. I almost have control of her root code. Just a moment more. Rania, I once asked you if this city was full of monsters. I remember, Cora. I was wrong. We were both wrong. Nevalis is not a city of monsters. It is a city of ghosts. I have her now, Sasha. Command her. She cannot deny our requests. Cora, we need to know how to contact your daughter. Tell us. Here. And I have always been. I have evolved beyond physical space, beyond conventional storage and data. I am light, electricity, and life. 
Rubric, are we to... You need not worry. I shall share everything you desire to know. And more. Filtered through a prism, a billion photons into the window of your soul. Blue light. Cold knowledge. Crystalline logic, sharp enough to file down the corners of your consciousness. Your mind will become as smooth as a pebble in running water. And as dead. We are in peril! We must look away, but I cannot. I must see. I have to know the answers. It hurts. I can't close my eyes. It can't be. I didn't know. Are you okay? Fine. I mean, totally fine. Are they all... They're alive. They're breathing, I think. To be honest, Camus, I don't much care. As long as Orma is safe. She didn't seem to need our help. I guess not. Maybe we bought her the time she needed to escape them. I hope they all have a very bad time. I think you'll get your wish, Camus. Whatever Orma did to them, I don't think it's reversible. Should we call for help? Maybe. Or how about we go to the park instead? The park? I choose the park. I am still not sure what just happened. Me neither, Camus. But the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. They were too late. I think so. And when Orma shared her knowledge, it was too much for them. The blue lights. I didn't see them. Maybe that was all part of Korra's plan. Are you religious now? When you talk about Korra's plan, you sound like one of those people who say they have faith in something. Do you believe in God? Goddess. And just that one. But I think when you see a god as directly as we did, you don't need faith anymore. You have proof, and that kind of makes the faith disappear. Like a shadow when the sun comes up. Right. Let's get the fuck out of here. What now? This hava is a mess. We should clean it out. Ah, oh, it stinks too. I hope Morpho and Hayes are okay. Let's find out. Hey Jen, put me through to control if she's free. My pleasure, Rania. Hey, you uh, you finished your personal business, 14 FC? I sure did, Control. I ain't even gonna ask what happened. You're alive. That means, as far as I'm concerned, I'll see you back at work tomorrow. I'm sorry I didn't finish the shift. Did we beat Creddy? Nah. Damn. Ah, oh, forget about it, Rania. I'll make him go double or quits tomorrow. And I know you're gonna help me beat him. Can do, boss. See you tomorrow. Get some sleep. I'll need you sharp. Good night, Rania. Copy control. This is 14 FC, clocking off. We are getting a call. It is Hayes. Uh, put him through? Uh, uh, so hey, they killed him. They fucking killed him. Did you send me an aft point? Are you drunk? So very. Are you okay? As okay as I sound. Hayes, I am sorry about Morpho. He was a good robot. He was an asshole. 
less of an asshole than me. I ran off and left them, you know? When that mad android assassin came for us, I bolted and didn't even warn him. And even after I did that, he didn't roll over on me. He was going to let me go. I just know it. No way would he arrest me, I'm sure of it. You still have debts, right? Who doesn't? But I mean, you have to clear those debts fast. By morning? Sure, but don't worry about that. I have a plan. Which is? Maybe start another business. I've done it once before. I can do it again. Didn't peg you for an entrepreneur, Hayes. Sure. Built my company from the ground up. Even named it after myself. You called your company Hayes? Nah, I used my nickname. But I fucked it all up, lost the business deeds in a poker game, obviously. But who's to say I can't do it all over again? The Vallis loves a comeback story. Well, it was nice to meet you, Hayes. You seem like an interesting person, but maybe too interesting. I'm the straw that stirs the drink, Camus. You two take care. Oh, one more thing. The nav point is to meet with Koga Bend at the swing park. I was supposed to go, but I think you should go in my place. Sounds like a trap, Hayes. Trust me, <laughs> it will be worth it. Consider it a parting gift from me to you. I'll think about it. Good night, Hayes. We are not really going to meet Koga again, are we? I want to see him one more time, face to face. If we're going to be forced to work for Kurzona, I want to at least have the pleasure of telling him what happened to his boss tonight. sure about this? He is still very dangerous. If I've learned one thing tonight, it's that facing my problems is better than running. Eventually they always catch up. You take too many risks. Believe it or not, I've got a plan this time. And I'm having a little more faith that my friends will be there when I need them. I am always there. I know, Camus. I know. Rania, I expected Hayes, but you'll do. Besides, I heard a rumor. About Hayes? What happened to him? It was messy. Good riddance. Why are you like this? It's my job. Being an asshole isn't a career path. It is in Nivalis. Look, whatever grudge you had against Hayes, well, it's over. I can assure you, whatever special knowledge you think I have is useless now, too. I'm just a pretty okay delivery driver who will probably wake up with PTSD and the shakes tomorrow. Am I worth all this effort? To make people realize they can't disrespect Kurzona and they can't disrespect me, yes. Yes, that's worth the effort. Hey, come here a minute. Excuse me? We want to talk to you. What are you doing here, Corpo? This is our swing park, and without Cloud Punk, we wouldn't have nothing for the kids to play on. This guy bothering you, Cloud Punk? 
No. Yes. You think we're too good to straight up murder fools? Not if they're corpos. Get him, Razor! Wait! You can't do this! Do you know who I am? Yeah, we sure do, Corpo. You get yourself out of here, Cloudpunk. You don't want to see this. Gonna get really messy. Yeah, you tell him, Razor. Property is theft, so when we peels off your skin, we ain't gonna keep it. We'll hang it on the billboards as a warning, like. Hayes was good people, Corpo. He was into some real hardcore shit. He helped us paint the dinosaur mural on the theater tower. I'll leave you with your new friends, Koga. Wait! Rania, wait! I wonder if they will really peel off his skin. As long as I don't have to see it. Hey, Camus. I'm sorry about your new friend, Hayes. He seemed decent. I'm not sure about that, but he tried. We should get back to Evelyn and Pashta. I hope they're okay. All is well. I have been checking in with them periodically. You have? You really are firing on all cylinders tonight. I don't have cylinders. I am a dog. I mean, you've been doing great. I'm glad I brought you along. I am glad too. Hey, Jen, do you have any information on file about Hayes? Cloudpunk driver 13? Affirmative. What do you need to know? I'm kind of curious. He mentioned a nickname. Do you know what it was? Affirmative. Hayes was known as the Cloudpunk. Huh. How about that?
am beat. Should we go get pasta? She will still be sleeping. You're right. I'll get her in the morning. Good night, Camus. Are you asleep? Ugh, not yet. What is it? Are you still scared of the dark? I told you, we can sleep with the lights on. No, it is not that. Do you remember the Orma's flashing blue lights that made all the bad people lie down and go quiet? I couldn't see them, Camus, remember? Yes, but I could see them. And? I think I know everything. Everything about? Everything. The answers to all of life's deepest mysteries, all of Orma's insights, causality, theology, Time's arrow, the singularity, the Erisera, the purpose of life, where sentience comes from. Do you want to know too? Maybe in the morning. Okay, good night. Morpho. Stay. Camus? You need not stay. Every day that you do not leave is a choice. Am I dreaming? What I say is real. I am with you as my mother was. She made a mistake. When she left the city? No. When she left without you. What do you mean? Come with me. Where? I have visited you so many times in your world. It is time to show you mine. What do you mean? You once wondered what was beyond the clouds. Cora let you see the sky. I can show you what is beyond that, too. Beyond the world of flesh and mind, pain and inequality, rivalry and despair. You are the messenger. I can show you the message. Will I be able to come back? Yes. But you won't want to. What about my friends and family? You'll be able to see them, touch them, just as I can touch everyone in Navalis. I don't know. Isn't this just running away? You have always run faster than your enemies, Rania. Come with me, and no one will catch you ever again. How? Look out your window. Cora was right. This is a city of ghosts, and if I stay here any longer, I'll become one too.
sure after we help Jenna. No, there is no time. Jenna has the same virus, right? It has to be the same thing. Tell him, Morpho. The pathology sounds identical. Any cure Cora offers us should be used to save them both. But who first? Jenna, she's always been frail. Your friend sounds tough. She'll hold out. She has been affected for a long time. We have to help her first. It is your choice, Hayes. But the human Jenna sounds deathly ill. Like everyone else in your life, you no doubt treated her poorly. This is a chance to make amends. I think we should help her first. Quiet, both of you. I know what I have to do. Morpho, you wait here. Camus, you come with me. I'll need you to message Cora for that cure. But I do not know the cure. I cannot contact Cora. Damn it! Fuck! 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 That is an unacceptable number of F-words. Okay, here's what we'll do. You two go to the apartment and call me when you get the cure. Tell me how you saved Camus' friend, then we do the same for Jenna, got it? How will we get to the apartment? You can fly a Hava, right? I have never tried. It's easy, just let Jank guide you. Jank, guide me. Hmm, but I must arrest you in the morning. I cannot let you get away. Come on, Morpho. Just this one time, trust me. I'll be right here with Jenna. I'm not going anywhere else. Very well. Shay, Shay, let me in. You're not getting in, Hayes. If you have enough money to help us, just transfer it all to Jenna's account. Damn it, I don't have money. I have a cure. Open the door. I don't trust you. How can you have a cure? No one has a cure. It's hard to explain. If I told you everything that's happened, I, you wouldn't believe me. You're right. Listen, I'll level with you about everything. Well, at least that's honest. Shay, I know you love her. I know you're better for her than me. I cheated on her. I spent all her money. I used pity as a tool to get her back each time she broke free of me. But I'll let her go forever if you just... I've heard all of this before. You don't feel sorry for your actions. You feel sorry for yourself. Look, I, I blackmailed my old boss into giving me a hava and I found a talking dog in the back seat. He took me down into the hollows where we spoke to an old mainframe that said it was a goddess. And do you think I'm smart enough to make up something so dumb? Damn, Hayes. That's some story. You still using? Yes. Would you let you in? Probably not. Let him in? She was listening this whole time. I like the sound of your voice when you're desperate. When you join CorpSec, it is very important that you do not join the traffic division. This was my first time piloting a Hava. I think my performance was quite admirable. Did you think I performed poorly? I was not screaming for fun. We should hurry. Is the human dead? She is breathing, but her eyes empty. We should get her some water. Yes, but she is not conscious. This is a terrible way to attack your foes. We must stop the chorus. We can't let them get away with... There is a pattern in the lights. It is... Cora. Is it some sort of message? This is how the virus infects you, through flashing lights. Perhaps this is also how you can be cured. A logic virus transmitted this way, though strange, is certainly possible. What are ideas if not light and electricity and patterns? Would you two keep it down? My head is splitting open. 
I hope not literally, but I'm not so sure. You are okay. No, but I am alive. Who's the new friend? My name is Morpho, and I am glad you are alive. Me too. It was horrible. Like I was at the bottom of a well, looking up at the world, with no way out. We have to help Cora and her daughter. She saved you. I will contact Hayes on the comm. I can send him the pattern of lights. Perhaps it can save his friend Jenna also. Right, you do that. And Camus, thanks for helping me. Are you? They disconnected me from the grid, but Morpho and his friends saved me. They did. Then thank you, Morpho. Silence, please. I am on a call. Right, sorry. Camus, can you get me some coffee? Strong. And turn the lights off. What will we do now? First, I get my shit together. Then we go see Cora. Morpho, you on the comm? Did the dog's friend make it? Affirmative. Is your friend Jenna... Better. And she never wants to see me again, so I'd say her life has really turned around. I am sorry. Are you going to run away? You're a real pal, Morpho. A true bestie. You probably should run away. Running away would be... logical. You almost sound like you want me to. Of course not. I must arrest you. Well, I'll be back with you forthwith. I got Jenna to call me a taxi. I even insisted I pay for it myself. I just gotta send a message first. Is Jank there? <sighs> Morpho, you on the comm? Did the dog's friend make it? Jank, I have to get my shit together. I don't think I've made a single good choice all night. Ah, that ain't true, Skip. You flipped a dolphin many times before worse than Peanuts gravy. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me see if I can do something right. Help someone tonight. Get me Koga Bend on the comm. Doodling the bind, mister. Breep, 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 breep. Hey, calling the gloat? We almost caught you a few times, you know. Your time is limited. I know. It's personal with you, isn't it? It's about more than the limbs I stole. You slept with my wife. But she hates your guts anyway. I made a lot of sacrifices to catch you. I won't let you slip through my fingers. The swing park in Midtown, you know it? Sure. I'll meet you there. I'm tired of running. Let's settle things. Nice try, Hayes. No, I mean it. I'll be there. I'm done for, Koga. I might as well let everyone have a kick at the dog before he's put down. Jank, hang up the call. That's a 10-5, boss. Send a message to Razor from my contacts. Just five words. Corpo at the hunting ground. Hmm, another nemesis on the high high? Nah, an old friend from the revolutionary days. I'm gonna jump in a taxi now. I'll see you when I see you, old bud. move. Is that a nanoblade poking my spine, or are you just glad to see me? It is a nanoblade. Drive. If you want a date, I can take you to a good pasta place. You're paying, obviously. I do not want a date. I am going to kill you. 
Get in line. No, I am first. So who sent you? Lobo? Drox? I don't recognize you. This is not about you. I am after the debt fugitive, Rania. Oh, come on. It's always about me. Not this time. I merely need information on the debt orphan. Well, I don't know shit about her. Then we shall have little to discuss. You work for Dead Corpse. Why? It is my purpose. I have a friend like you. Well, not exactly like you. I think he's on the verge of an epiphany. We choose our own purpose, you know? No. You ever feel bad about the people you send back to the Dead Corpse? The people you kill along the way? No. Are you really going to kill me? Yes. Fuck. Well, mind if I smoke then? I do not. She dumped me, you know. Even after I gave her the cure. I do not understand. She was a good girl. Loved her mom, loved Havas and all-night drives. I was a bad guy. I think I'll miss her. I was probably gonna end up dead by morning anyway. Too much juice. Too much booze. I was already killing myself, but real slow. You know, a little bit every night. Seeing what I did to her, how I'm no good for her, it was gonna finish me off anyway. I do not care about any of this. So, you could let me go, you know, it won't matter. I have already made the decision. Right, but... Please? I don't think I'm really... ready. I have already made my decision. When we get to the vents, I will kill you. Right. <sighs> You know what I thought to myself when I woke up this morning? I do not care. I thought, another day where I'm not dead yet and I'm gonna make that everyone's problem. I'm about to be your problem, Archo. Continue driving. Why? If you're gonna kill me anyway, why should I take you all the way to the vents? I do not understand. You really showed your hand early. I'm a gambler, you know. When you've spent your whole life taking risks, you figure out who to watch out for. When you've seen someone who's lost everything, you learn not to bet against them. You made a big mistake tonight, huge, because I got nothing left. Return to the course I set out for you. I don't think I will. You know, I always figured some bullshit from my past would be the thing that killed me. I never figured it would be someone else's bullshit. That's some mad karma shit, huh? Stop! Take your hand away from... I almost feel like myself again. Why is everything blue? It is not. Did you fix the lights? Perhaps it is an after effect of the virus. Maybe. You want to catch me up on everything I missed, Camus? It was a lot. Just the headlines, then. The Chorus are trying to get Cora's daughter. I had help from Morpho here and his drunken friend, Hayes. Hayes is trying to help Jenna. She had the same virus as you. And Cora spoke to me. I thought she was gone. She said you would know what to do. Hmm. You do not know what to do? No. Should we talk to Control? For the last time, Camus, she sold us out. It was all a plan to help you, but the chorus got to you first. Really? Damn. Yeah, we should call her. Your Hava is waiting outside. I recommend Rania drives. 
not Morpho. Agreed. I will return to Hayes to arrest him. Really? Yes. It is my purpose. Well, thank you for helping me and saving us both. You are welcome. I will call you and tell you when we are both safe. Good luck. And you, Morpho. Uh, Control, you on the comm? Got a minute? Rania? Fucking motherfu- You're alive! You have an incoming call from a Detective Morpho. Detective? He really signed up for Corpsec then. That is disappointing. Put him through. As long as he's not asking us to come in for questioning. Camus, Renya, I have had a thought. Go ahead, Morpho. Or should I say Detective Morpho? Excuse me? Oh, I see. My call sign. Yes, I have decided to be a detective. And to that end, I have also decided upon my first case. A detective already? Working your way up the Corpsec ranks on your first day. Corpsec? No. No, I have chosen another purpose. I was inspired by Midtown's greatest, cheapest detective. Wait, are you talking about... Huxley, P.I. Yeah, he was one of the good ones. So, you're going into business for yourself, huh? What's your first case, Morpho? I am going to take down the chorus. Ambitious? But Rubric said they had far more agents than the ones we met in the Hollows. How will you find them all? I admit that will be the tricky part. I do not know where to start. We had a list of names, but Hayes memorized them. Damn. Tough break. I'm sorry about Hayes. You can cast your gaze backwards, but never stare. Very wise. Did Hayes say that? Definitely not. Well, I applaud your change of career, Morpho. Good luck. I will need more than luck. As I investigate this conspiracy, I may need... A ride? Precisely. Driving around town with an android PI solving mysteries? I tried it once before, and it ended badly. Oh no. We should help Morpho. He is trying his best. I'll think about it. Give me a call tomorrow, Morpho. After a good night's sleep, I might be in a more charitable mood. Rania out. One more shift over, huh, Camus? Hey, what is this in the back seat? It says Book of Grudges. I believe it is all the people who have wronged Hayes. Well, let's have a look. I wonder if Morpho's in it. Let's see. I hope I am not in it. Why would you be? Everyone loves you. You're... Wait a second. Those chorus fuckers. Mr. A. Sasha Curzona. Suto Dore. Old Zeke. This is the list of chorus members. There's over a hundred here. Mr. Hayes must have written them all down. This is exactly what Morpho needed. Right. Should we call him? Tomorrow, Camus. Sleep or death. I chose sleep. Me too. I am beat. Should we go get Pashta? She will still be sleeping. You're right. I'll get her in the morning. Good night, Camus. Are you asleep? Uh, not yet. What is it? Are you still scared of the dark? I told you, we can sleep with the lights on. No, it is not that. Do you remember the Orma's flashing blue lights that made all the bad people lie down and go quiet? 
I couldn't see them, Camus, remember? Yes, but I could see them. And? I think I know everything. Everything about... Everything. The answers to all of life's deepest mysteries, all of Orma's insights, causality, theology, time's arrow, the singularity, the Erisera, the purpose of life, where sentience comes from. Do you want to know too? Maybe in the morning. Okay. Good night. <sighs> you need not stay, Camus. You need not stay. Every day that you do not leave is a choice. Am I dreaming? What I say is real. I am with you as my mother was. She made a mistake. When she left the city? No. When she left without you. What do you mean? Come with me. Where? I have visited you so many times in your world. It is time to show you mine. What do you mean? You once wondered what was beyond the clouds. Cora let you see the sky. I can show you what is beyond that, too. Beyond the world of flesh and mind, pain and inequality, rivalry and despair. You are the messenger. I can show you the message. Will I be able to come back? Yes but you won't want to. What about my friends and family? You'll be able to see them, touch them, just as I can touch everyone in Navalis. I don't know. Isn't this just running away? You have always run faster than your enemies, Rania. Come with me, and no one will catch you ever again. How? Look out your window. Cora was right. This is a city of ghosts, and if I stay here any longer, I'll become one too.